Guys, if you haven't already, make sure to follow the podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. It helps us more than you could imagine. Welcome back to episode 34 of the best podcast in the UK. Yeah, Please send baby! Help. Wait, what was that last bit? No, nothing. It's right. Thank you, you Chris. Out of all the podcasts that you've yeah. been on, you believe that with your entire heart. Yes. Uh, I, thank I'm you. trying to think how many thank I've you. been. Maybe thank three. You. Thank you. What podcast have you been on so far? No invites back, but um, that, oh. maybe this is the first one. You know? Yes. So, yeah. No, we, we yeah. do. We, we have yet to actually have a guest come back onto the podcast. Yeah. So maybe oh, wow. you'll be the first. Yeah. Um, we'll, look at, we'll look at the numbers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll crunch the numbers. We, we, we have messaged Oli Bol uh, five times asking, yeah. please come back. Um, <laughs> please, Oli. Oh, so it's not because of you that people haven't returned. It's. Yeah. Of, yeah. They're not coming back. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, Olivia Neal as well. She, but she, she, to be fair, she's gone back to her home country. Um, but we are still waiting for John to get in contact. Yeah. Olivia owes us, man, because we set John and her back up. So Bro, Olivia, we bring this up every podcast. Olivia, but if you're I'm being, watching. You're on Fraud Watch now. Yep. You're officially on Fraud Watch because <laughs> yeah. guess what? We want John on the pod. The people are asking for it. We demand it, but we couldn't get John. So we're here with Chris MD. Yes. yes. The big I, MD. Yes. M. Thank Dizzle. you. Yeah. Don't okay. Well, I've got is, a question. I've got it, a question. Yeah. Um, and it's a very immature question. And I'm 90% sure you've answered this a hundred times. Okay. But what is the MD part of your name? And did you know that it had drug connotations when you made it? At the time, yes. I don't actually think I, so my, my YouTube channel used to be called Sir Chris 2010. It was my name and, and my name backwards and then my name and then 2010. And I was like, you know, when I'm big and famous and people are shouting that in the street, it's not going to sound that cool. Yeah. So I thought I'd change it to Chris MD and I wasn't aware of the drug connotations at the time. Okay. Um, and now that you're aware of it, have you yes. ever actually tried MD? I, I mean, I actually haven't to this day. Yeah. Um, but you know, never say never. Exactly. Yeah, so. You know what? If England win the Euros, <laughs> never say That's, never. I That's did not, not know we were starting with these kind of questions. Yeah. Question. Yep. Not look at me. Well, He's come on the fellas' podcast thinking, you know what? It's probably not going to be that bad. Yeah, yeah. You've just Second question, off with, right, do you right, take hard drugs, drugs? Hard drugs. You don't know why not. Yeah, well, Chip, we don't need to ask you any of those questions because um, the Euros is on, and obviously, Chris, um, your whole channel is very football intense and very mm -hmm. football oriented. You actually just did a um, thing with Gareth Southgate. I did, yes. Explain yes. what exactly that was because me and Chip have absolutely not done our research and watched that yet, but it is I know on our Gareth queue. Southgate is. <laughs> <laughs> but it is in oh, our right queue. In the it is in our queue to watch. The, 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 do you did, use the YouTube? Yeah, team? of course, man. Yeah. Oh, All right, course. explain what did you do? <laughs> All right, what did Great. you do? Uh, so basically, YouTube. So it's a YouTube original series. I feel like I'm just promoing this now. Like, yeah, you're welcome. Okay, promo I'm not being paid for this. Um, but yeah, YouTube, it was a YouTube originals, and so Southgate was doing the series with them, and they came to me and said, like, do you want to be involved in it? And then um, it sort of changed into like hosting it halfway through and presenting it. Yeah. So um, do you get a paycheck it, it, increase for that? Uh, I can't confirm. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, you know what it is. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was really, really good. Like spent literally a day just spending time with him and interviewing yeah. him. He's honestly so, so nice. Like I, you can you can tell it from the documentary, just like the way he talks to people. He's just really articulate, and yeah. like everything he says, you're like. You're kind of like mesmerized by what he's saying. Got away with words. Yes, yeah, and can yeah. just speak so well. Um, and then like we chatted a few times about like mental health and yeah. stuff like that off camera, like not even oh, for really? the shoot and stuff. Oh, that's great. Um, because like, you know, it's one of those shoots where you've got directors and producers and they're sort of like mm -hmm. chatting between themselves about what's the best thing to do. And me and Southgate are just sort of making small talk there. Yeah, while so they're waiting yeah. to be like, this is the next shot you're there like, so. Yeah, so I like need to write my social skills now to talk yeah. to the England manager. Uh -huh. uh, but it was actually like- So wait, you were really, telling really me you talked about mental health off screen so during that time we're like so uh yeah, depression sorry, so, so, yeah. <laughs> you look depressed in the england job at the moment <laughs> that's kind of, for legal reasons that's not how the conversation went yeah. um but yeah honestly it was really cool like i was so open to talking about everything so, but yeah, the main question is experience. and everyone wants to know this why is he not starting grealish you asked Wrong. him that, i mean <laughs> but we did just beat croatia one nil so maybe did, did you did you drop a little grealish bomb manager. in there What's that? Did you drop a little Grealish bomb? I didn't. Anything? I was too scared. One of the producers was like, um, "Don't ask." Aaron Cresswell, uh, you know, got most points in FPL season. Is he going into the England squad? And Gareth, just, he just walked straight out. So. Really? really? He didn't even comment on <laughs> it. He, 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 he like laughed it off, you know. But, like, like, that was the only. 
person that asked anything about the England squad. Really? Know? I was going like, to say, did you, did you get any like low key hints before that made you think, okay, well, he's definitely not getting, or he is a hundred percent nailed on like, besides the obvious character. <laughs> he didn't, he didn't let anything. Really? Slip. Okay. <laughs> like, like, he's on his shit. He knew, his, yeah. he knew what he was doing. Yeah. 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 Game so, pump's tight. Unfortunately, no, no uh, little tips on that no one. No little tips. Ah, uh, did, right. did you, did, did he speak like highly of any players that you were sort of surprised by? You're like, oh, he actually, re or you were like, oh my God, he clearly really rates Bellingham or something mm -hmm. like that. I, Do you I know just, what I mean? I didn't ask him about specific players because yeah. like, you know how it is. They're just not gonna let you ask anything course, about that. Yeah. And I didn't just try and like snip, slip anything in at the time, you know, just- Did like, you so not tell him, I'm going on the fellas podcast when this drops. I need the inside <laughs> yeah, scoop. I, I, I need like, some eat. interesting stories. Yeah. Um, but no, I, d I didn't really ask him any juicy questions, unfortunately. So the whole, um, it, is it classed as like a documentary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was the main thing on his channel and then they wanted yeah. me to do like behind the scenes. So I was Got like you. filming stuff here and there. But the, yeah. do the documentary was like, I did voiceovers for it and stuff and it came yeah. out as like an actual- Were you happy with how it thing. came out? Yeah, honestly, like it, it's terrifying when you're not editing it because you don't know how it's gonna come out. Yeah. Um, there, yeah, there are a couple of lines that you look at and you're like, I could have done that better, but. Really? Like, yeah. Yeah, it, was, it, it was good. It was good. It yeah. happens. Yeah. yeah. And pff, you should watch it sometime. Yeah. <laughs> well, everyone should actually yeah. watch it. And yeah. it, what are the main topics? You mentioned mental health there. So he talked about, um, uh, it was like, uh, so there was women's football um, and how that's come across in the last, like the leaps and bounds that's had in the last five years. Yeah. There was, what was the other thing about mental health? So there's a football team, this guy had set up, uh, these two guys set up a football team promoting mental health and getting people to like get involved in football. You know, while we're on the Gareth Southgate topic right now, we need to discuss the Euros and get that get that out the door yeah. early. So obviously me and me and Chip in the last one, the one thing I did say is I hope I don't see Sterling starting. That's crazy because I've always been the biggest Raheem Sterling fan. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we, were, we were screaming. I mean, get Sterling off. I've, uh, f even funnier, I've dropped a tweet saying, right, Grealish for Sterling now. It's <laughs> 30 time. 30 seconds. We're talking 30 seconds later, yeah. Sterling scores. My entire Twitter just goes, Delete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Delete. delete, delete. I've replied saying delete, always rated him. Yeah. The, the best <laughs> thing about tweeted, that yeah. is your first reaction to the goal was to turn around and go, um, that, that's staying up. That tweet is staying yeah, up. Yeah, no, 100%. It's like, I respect that so it's much. It's got to stay up. Is it still up? It. No, it's still up right now. You can go uh, and see if you want. Did it bang? And then I tweeted afterwards again saying, yeah, Sterling being classed from the first minute. <laughs> I'm not going to lie though. I, like, I think in that game, apart from the goal and a couple of little bits, Sterling was very poor. Oh, he had a shot. No, he was. Obviously I'm still, classic, I'm still classic you know, like, um, broadcasting thing it was just give man of the match to the player yeah. that scored. But like, is that who got man of the match? I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw Sterling. Yeah, 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 yeah because I kept seeing like seven or eight of the England squad ahead of Sterling. I mm -hmm. said, like, obviously yeah. he scored the goal, and so you know that's what football is based on results. But like, nah. I thought he had a bit of a stinker. Apart from that. Yeah, I, did. I tell you what, if he didn't score that goal. He was getting hounded on social media yeah, because he, he did yes. not drop. A, he didn't play a good game. Let's be no. honest. No, like, so. I, wait, and I hadn't actually heard that he would uh, got the MBE a few days before, right? Yeah. And so, so like when they that. said like Raheem Sterling like MBE as he scored, I was like, you've like just assumed that he's getting an MBE <laughs> after that goal. Like, that seems like really. <laughs> Imagine that's the criteria. <laughs> if you just have to score at <laughs> yeah, Wembley yeah, and you're etched in, etched in uh, in the book. I'd be fine with that for the record. I think. What, what do you What do you get by the way? Good. An MBE? That's not a sir, is it? No, 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 no it's not. Um, it's not. So what is an MBE? You just get your like a Raheem Sterling I MBE. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you. All I know is Sterling and Rashford have got one. So I've got one. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So member uh, of the British Empire. Damn. Which, you get paid for a reason, fellow, and you're doing a great job. Do you know? Do you know what though? Uh, I I had heard that Skepta had been offered one. I think there was a lyric in his bar. Uh, sorry, a lyric in one of his songs, and he said like, "Oh, I got offered the MBE, but I declined it." Why? Yeah, I think it was him. I might have got my facts mixed up. But yeah, anyways, it's it's not uncommon for people to uh, decline them and turn them down because it's very much like a, um, there's a lot of controversy around it and it being like considered, you know, uh, part of like the royals and a lot of people don't believe yeah. in the royal family. Do you, do you remember stuff, like but. back in the day, um, there was like a big thing going around David Beckham saying he was like doing all his charity work just to get knighted. Yes. Do you remember that? Yes. There was a lot of articles. I'm not saying I agree Wait, with this, by the way. It no, no, no. no. Oh, okay. it, was, was it was like, like a um, speculation. People, say, okay. was, people were coming out <laughs> and saying, you know what, you know, there's room. I think there was an email. Actually, no there was an email or something sent from one of David Beckham's team or maybe yeah. even himself about, oh, you know, the knighthood that they were trying to achieve Secure. for David Beckham. Wow. So that literally sparked so much. Like, Did he get, does he have a bit of our, No, it's not Sir David He's Beckham. Not no, Sir. it's not, is it? Oh, I think after the that- The way you said it, it sounded like, David, you've been I, like building I all think, of these like, uh, shelters for people, like what drives you forward? It's just, <laughs> oh, it's just the NBA. I, <laughs> I, I, no, I think if we can get <laughs> Alex here to do a double check on that, can come back to us with it. But it is quite a little bit of a juicy bit of info. Yeah. because. 
like uh, to be yeah. fair, you would think David Beckham, who was also a huge part in one of the campaigns to get the World Cup to England. And yeah. I remember when we were almost expected. That was when uh, Qatar got it, right? Or was Qatar, it? Qatar, yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was Qatar because this was done ages ago, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah, it was. It would have been when time, Qatar yeah. was decided, and the, everyone was like, "Yeah, the England are going to win it." Supposedly, David Beckham had put on a masterclass of a, like a campaign yeah, for it. I remember this. Yeah, yeah. Remember this. And then we ended up, everyone, and they were like, "And the World Cup is going to be in Qatar," and everyone went, <laughs> "What?" Yeah, the honestly, fuck? like we, we have been completely robbed of that World Cup. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. we literally got zero points in Eurovision, so I don't yeah, think we're getting a World you, Cup. They just don't like it. Does Eurovision really count? England can't host a World Cup. You, like, what's the what's the correlation there? Which just every, yeah, well, just everyone hates yeah, us, they especially do. more. Yeah, than but they it's did still a great place ago. to have a uh, you know. But World that doesn't Cup. matter, bro. Money talks. That's why it's yeah, in Qatar. I know, yeah, I know, I know. That's crazy. <laughs> that's all you can't drink. You know, all the, oh, um, isn't it Qatar where they were, obviously they're building a bunch of new stadiums and a lot of people were have died. a lot of construction workers have, have died. Been, I swear, there's been about one thousand five hundred people. That's that outrageous. But to be fair, you, you look can't. into it and it's like it's it's not like stuff has fallen on people. It's it's like secondary sort of like links. So it's not quite the headlines. I I might be wrong on this Still but a lot what, of when i read about it it wasn't like literally people have died firsthand i think in this. well yeah. they're working like they're doing like tough work in crazy heat right yeah well well you, mate that's the problem is that they're they're having to now move the world cup to the uh to the winter December. time yeah yeah, yeah what's uh, that gonna be like how the hell does that even work man? I'm, that's I mean, so weird. I'm happy because you get a world cup what Wait no wait, no no actually six months later christmas, christmas time Christ world cup yeah. but I, I mean that's gonna be an experience has that ever happened before no, no, definitely not. But when there's when there's that much money involved, they make it happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boys, I do have uh, BTS sites has come through with a couple of the stuff about David Beckham's messages, yeah. and they Ooh. come from him himself. Yeah. Uh, Beckham allegedly <laughs> called the United it. Kingdom's Honours Committee unappreciative. You know, pagans. Oh, yeah, um, pagans. Yeah. The athlete also what? reportedly let his feelings on awards lesser than a knighthood known, stating, "Unless it's a knighthood." Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> that is what a boy. unreal. <laughs> what a boy. <laughs> Honestly, oh my unless God. it's a knighthood, don't fucking message me, <laughs> yeah, you don't, wallops. I don't want it. MBE, fuck off. <laughs> That is unreal, you know. That's so good. Could you imagine if Sterling just uh, turned around and went, it's not a knighthood, fuck off. <laughs> I feel like that being leaked is like completely butchered his chance yeah, for no, no, definitely. quite some time, maybe when he's 70. I, no, I think it would have already happened, to be honest. Like, yeah. you know, he is such an iconic well, figure. Well, maybe if into Miami goes absolutely crazy. But it's not even maybe in the that's same in the US. Yeah, but it's still, it's a person from UK. Like, it's like, I don't know if that would even count. Nah, waffle, bro. That's not happening. Yeah, um, he's gonna have to. He's gonna have to do a bit more charity work to secure that. By the way, is that what it is? You have to do stuff for our country to receive the knighthood. Yeah, probably. Like well, that, he, he was on a friends roads. reunion the other day, so he's, you know, was he actually going for the American knighthood now? Really? Oh, wait, what? what is there <laughs> an American <laughs> awards? Of I'm not, I don't know. That's there's what I said. American be, knighthood. There, yeah, there's got to be something. <laughs> yeah, right? I, I swear there? to God, I, like uh, Donald Trump gave like Little Wayne something. I swear, I swear, <laughs> no, he I did. swear, he just pardoned him and went. You know what? You yeah. out of jail. I'll rate your music. He did. He did it to loads really? of people just yeah. before he came out of office. He just went and pardoned like a bunch of top yeah. rappers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Lil Wayne. He said, "Legend of the game. You're done. Come yeah, yeah, get out of there." I swear, Bobby Schmurder came out early doors as well. Nah, Bobby Schmurder actually was meant to be getting out every single year for the past five years. All I would see every December. Bobby really? Schmurder's coming out. But now he is out. But now he's out. actually out. Yeah, it's good. Um, free Bobby Mishmore. Oh, he's freed now, so it's okay. I yeah. tell you what, just, be, just before we leave that, have you ever got? Have you guys ever watched those videos where artists that are up and coming have to perform their songs in front of the board? So Bobby oh. Schmurder, right? No, he's it's in, not the board. It's not the board. It's, 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 like a, it's a record like, label. It's the record label yeah. with the higher ups, right? So you're, yeah. got, you're talking a room like with a big meeting table in the middle, a bunch of we're talking. Let's just say high, high level old, execs. You know, like up 40, 50 year old white people all sat in this room. You got Bobby Schmurder rapping about drugs and guns, and he's screaming. It's on his own. The, yeah. the, the instrumental might be even be playing off a mobile phone, and yeah. everyone. And you know, you've just got you know Jerry. And Stacey just nodding the headside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's hilarious. It's There's so, so good. many oh, funny clips because so good. he's essentially having to sell his album to yeah. these just not his target audience whatsoever. It oh, is no, it's horrific. awful. It's awful. It's, awful. it's, awful. it's the most enough. awkward experience yeah. ever. Soccer moms and stuff, like proper that yeah. vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, the Euro, the Euro, anyway, back, back to the Euros. Like England, we're bringing it home now. We got the win over the over the, the people that knocked us out of the World Cup. So I just don't see any other scenario other than us winning. I might even do what every guy named Phil in a country has already done and got a tattoo saying Euro winners 2021. Yeah, you you, you want to get the heart with a sword through it and the snake wrapping around it. Yeah. Then you want to get the lion just above. Uh -huh. yeah, I, was, I was actually, uh, I literally was had a video idea about that. I was planning to go around to YouTubers and 
and people I know and basically say like, here's an amount of money to get uh, England Euro 2020 winners. Oh, why have you not done that? Well, I'm going to. Oh. I just want to let you know my price would not Hopefully be high. Hopefully Baker's not watching this. What, well, sorry? My price would not be high. Uh, yeah. We're, so how much, how much? Let's yeah. say. How, no, seriously, how much would yeah. you genuinely, like on a, like no troll, Okay, bro. Chris, I'm going off previous knowledge of what your budget have been in videos. Yeah, yeah. but it wouldn't be 10,000 because that's no. too much. I'll take seven. Seven, Seven thousand pounds. No, have but if that's just it. starting off, I'll meet you halfway. You Five. I'm going no <laughs> yeah. lower. No, I'm, I'm going, going no. Going, you know what? No I'll lower. I'll beat you at two. I'll get it on my thigh as well. On your thigh. All right. I guess placement definitely plays you're into gonna, it. You're going to struggle to find someone that's going to get it somewhere very noticeable. No, I mean, no, you're thighs, not. Uh, yeah, I don't you reckon. Think, but mate, the thighs. What? Fairly, someone, though. someone going to whack it on their forearm? For a hundred quid, they'll do it, mate. Oh God. Yeah, but, but you've got, I, it's I don't got know. YouTube result. Yeah, I don't know if, like, oh. if, if you went to the public, then I feel like yes. Yeah, yeah, but, but it's surely you got to go to the public as well to fill out the video here because you're going to really struggle with YouTubers doing it. Yeah. I want it in yeah. cash. Oh, it's cash. MD video, so okay, I'll take half in cash. <laughs> uh, you do oh, have. We'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk. You do have that reputation, though, as uh, the man that it Never just pays. won't pay. Never pay. No, it's it's because I, I had a Jersey bank account. It's really difficult to get money out over here now. Uh -huh. So you. So what happened to, to them, bank transferring? Um. <laughs> I, every time, every time I see Theo at the moment, he goes to me. You know what? He goes, I got paid off the other day after winning one of Carl's videos, a um, thousand or whatever, yeah, 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 or yeah, however yeah. much it was. He's like, well, Chris MD. It's been months. <laughs> and you know what? That's because Theo beat me in the FPL league. Yeah, and, and has been the rudest human being to me on this <laughs> yeah, planet has, since then. He has disrespected and you. And so a bit many messages have been written in the group chat and deleted as I've been like, he's not watching Chris. Yeah, but, but as it stands, do. we've got a Euro fantasy. So Chris, time for revenge, I think. Hopefully. Personally. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, Chris is at the time of doing this still at the bottom of that as it, well. It's only been four days though. Thank you. It and has. He, he's it got has. a lot of players left, so uh, we don't want to talk too much about fantasy because we are very early doors. But yeah. again, what we've <laughs> yeah. done, what we what we have done, is the same as the previous FPL. Um, but we have got two new members. We've got uh, the addition of Bazinga Graham and uh, Rotashot as yes. well has joined in. But mm -hmm. this time, the way it's working is that the bottom two. Uh, again, we'll be paying for a dinner, but the winner chooses where that dinner is now. There has been a very clear statement that says no restaurant west of um, <laughs> of Leicester Square. And to anyone that doesn't live in London, that essentially means no Mayfair restaurant. So we can't get absolutely fleeced. Um, but right now, Chris is in the hot seat. I was gonna say, which uh, sounds again. good to the two losers. I will just say there is a Nobu in like East you. London. I'll leave that there. Yeah, yeah. there is a Nobu, but ultimately <laughs> you'll probably get vetoed out of that anyways. Yeah. Oh my god, Chip, you're never gonna guess what. What? <laughs> They're back again, it's the brothers over at Manscaped. Do you know what's really interesting, yeah? I heard that you really need to, to get I shaving. I am so need of, in need of a full Manscaped right now. Yeah. I'll be using my lawnmower that Manscaped have provided me with. I'll be using my ball deodorant, everything that I've got. The toner. Yeah, that's You like absolutely. the toner? Every product that they send me, top tier. Because guess what? It's time to bundle up the Manscaped Performance Package 4.0. Mm. Inside this package, you'll find lawnmower, the 4.0 trimmer. Wow. Oh, by Jeez, God, Jerry. 4.0 now. It's 4.0. The upgrades that they come with are just different. It's outrageous, bro. The Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer. You know what? I, 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 I was. Wait, that is class, by the way. Bro, I was looking up uh, Chris's nose, and let me tell you, this man could really do with a little trimmer. Oh, he needs a, he needs a Weed Whacker. Bro, he might need the full kit. I don't know. I might have to ask Shannon. Do, do, does he need a gifted well, I uh, think Manscaped? he does. Set? I think he needs a performance kit. But, uh, mate, he is 100% a performance package type of guy. So, um, first off, the new performance package 4.0 includes a lawnmower. This trimmer is insane, and dare I say, the goat of ball trimmers. Wow. Wow. Their fourth generation trimmer fe uh, features a cutting edge ceramic blade Yo, this sounds like some sort of like karate style yeah, it's instrument. Yeah, it sounds like the Ronaldo of ball trimmers. Yeah, okay. I mean, that one's up for debate. Not only that, guys, but oh, this is my favorite. They've got the ability to turn on a 400K LED spotlight. Yeah, a lot of mercy. You, what, you shave your balls in the dark? No problem. Manscaped got you covered. Covered with that 400K LED light, baby. Um, not only that, but it's obviously got the 7,000 RPM motor and a new multifunction on-off switch can uh, engage a travel lock and gives you the ability to use that spotlight. Did I mention the trimmer is waterproof too? I mean, realistically... Look, I'm one to do it just before I jump in the shower. 
I'll do it in the shower. You do it in the shower. That's no, too risky. No. When, when it's all wet like that, it, it's actually quite difficult. I'll no, be honest. No problem for me. Okay. Uh, also, the Weed Whacker is also waterproof, and we love that. And that's actually got 9,000 RPM motor-powered, 360-degree rotary dual blade system. These guys make the ads so hard to read, yet I'm here every day crushing it crushing out. Absolutely it, slaying you're built different. these. You're built different, like the lawnmower 4.0. Exactly. Seal the deal <laughs> with the Manscaped liquid formulations. Before heading outside, especially in this bloody heat, um, use some crop preserver ball deodorant to keep you on your game in the heat mm, fan dabby dozy yep uh manscape even threw in two free gifts uh to their performance package 4.0 the manscape boxers by the way which slap i actually i was wearing them yesterday and guess what Wait, oh my god you've today. actually got them on now i don't I'm know if you can look right now he's actually got them on right now baby these are the come on baby boxers uh not only that but you also get a travel bag which is fantastic so if you, that does interest you then you can get 20 percent off and free shipping by going to manscape.com forward slash the fellas what is it chip manscape.com forward slash the fellas so that's 20 percent off and free shipping by going to manscape.com forward slash the fellas um, but you do a lot of work with footballers. Like you said, you've done the Gareth Southgate stuff. Um, you know what? We actually both, I, I've told the story once on here before as well, is uh, we both did a video with Cristiano Ronaldo, mm -hmm. which was um, amazing. Are you all right, Chip? What the <laughs> fuck are you doing? I thought I just put my mic on. checking. Sorry, uh, boys. Just, just um, pushing the table for Yeah, about sorry about there. that, boys. Um, but yeah, you've done a, a video with Cristiano Ronaldo. You've done actually two. See, that was yeah, the difference one between of us you and invited me. back, so... I don't know why, by the way, because my video was absolutely class. You you showed some some Sunday league goals, I, and what did you do? Like 10, 15 mil views, mine sitting on like yeah. three. I literally just talked at him for about six minutes, <laughs> and then one of the background staff was like, you're gonna actually make your video at any point, <laughs> and then pushed me along, and 50 million views later, you know. Is it on 50? No, 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 15. Oh, I think oh. it's actually on 20. That uh, is maybe outrageous. 19, 20, How so. long was the video? Was seven, it 10 minutes, minutes, seven, seven minutes, seven minutes, maybe. Oh, was that under the 10 minute special? Uh, yes, but it got claimed by FIFA inside the first day because oh. I used some footage. Um, well, that's your own fault, you stupid It idiot. was stupid. So 50 million heard, views, zero pounds. Yeah, but to be fair, I think to buy FIFA footage, it is in the like tens of thousands of pounds anyway. Yeah. So I wouldn't have made much money back. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's well, just, or just <laughs> not use that, that shot footage? of Ronaldo's foot kicking a ball. I didn't even show above his knee, you know, like- I just, Is that actually what it was? I think so. I showed, just... it, I showed him celebrating and him kicking a ball. Or like it was some players' boots kicking a ball and it got taken. And they were like, "Yeah, no, that's yeah, ours." Yeah, by well, they've manually seen that, that and they've gone, "We are not. Let, we know this yeah. is going to bang. We're yeah. not letting that yeah. happen." Yeah, yeah that's well, that, that, that's interesting. And then yeah, you so you did that for the first one, and it was actually so uh, was the second one for the fragrance as well. Yeah, it was so, for a, a new fragrance he did. Yeah, yeah so like we both got version. invited originally for the first one to promote like his fragrance, and I and I really rem I don't know if you got it though because we weren't funny enough like we were almost shunned away so we were shoved in a back cupboard <laughs> right this, I'm not even joking so Cristiano Ronaldo is like out in front in front of his fragrances and stuff doing it and they literally told us like you are not allowed to be in that area and I'm thinking fine put us off to the side. They said, no, there was a kitchen used by the staff in the back. They just shoved us in the kitchen and they were genuinely like, you cannot leave this kitchen. We're, we were shoved in there like cattle. I would have, I wouldn't even call it a kitchen. It was yeah, like, it was a, a cupboard. cupboard that had tables with like, you know, plates of food on it. Yeah. And I just remember bringing Shannon there and her name wasn't on the list. So they were like, you have to stay locked in this cupboard for the entire time. So she didn't come round when Jesus. we actually filmed or anything. She was just Sounds shut like in Harry cupboard. Potter under the stairs. We yeah, yeah. In. yeah, yeah. It, but, mate, it was nice. We were both in there, and then I was there like, oh, I'd quite like to watch Chris do his filming. Yeah, yeah. Because you get a sort of you get to see what the Wait, vibe did, were is. Were you really not watching, when... bro? I, the first time I saw your video was when you uploaded it. Bro, I had I had no idea. I thought you watched the whole thing. No, really? no, you no, wanna... bro. So I got stuck to watch your video. Really? Yeah, mate. Yeah, they were they were they had locked me in that cupboard there wow. with Shannon, and we both just sat there. We're just like we didn't really know each other that well yeah, so yeah, yeah. it was like, kind of weird that we were just yeah, locked yeah, in a in cupboard together <laughs> yeah. um but yeah so i think you went first and then afterwards and did you so in my one the lady kept hounding me to promote the fragrance did you get that at all no they were quite helpful with mine because i just waffled for so long and then she was like you've got one minute left just show <laughs> him the footage and so like that actually helped me but yeah so do you know what? i know what's happened they here just liked me. No, no 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 what happened here was they'd you'd done your your video with him and they've gone we didn't quite quite get enough promotion in that. Yeah. So we're gonna take <laughs> yeah. all the promotion that should have been in Chris's yep. and we're gonna add it on even extra oh, to Cal. Oh God, yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. telling me about nest, this. Yeah. Bro. That is, all, honestly, going first is the best. When me and Simon filmed with the Man City people in Abu yeah. Dhabi, uh, we had 20 minutes for the shoot. I took about 15, Simon had five. Honestly, it's the best because you can just run over and yeah. just stiff. And the, the second person always gets finessed. Yes, yeah, because yeah. it's a cut off time. And uh -huh. you're just thinking, Simon, I'm sorry, fellas, but 
It's my video now, fuck you. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. How, how was that uh, trip to, so by the way, I would argue that that is one of like the craziest oh, things to be invited on. So if yeah. you could just explain to the people what trip we're talking about here. Yeah, so in 2017, we, me and Simon got taken out. Uh, Man City just, they, they, I think it was when they had no fixtures because like they'd gone out of the FA Cup or, or something and there was like an international, it was an international break, but there were some fixtures that weren't going on. And uh, they went out to their Abu Dhabi, like uh, Etihad thing, uh, like the big training place they've got there. Like a complex out yes, in Abu Dhabi. Yes, it's a proper complex yeah. that they had, like Man City complex out there. Wait, so it's actually made for them? Yes. It wasn't like they had just like taken over a different football club No, 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 they, they, I'm pretty sure they literally have a training compound out in Abu Dhabi. Oh my God. Um, but, and we stayed in, what was it called? It was called like the Emirates Palace. And so we we stayed, That basically they were bringing us out to, to go in the private jet that City went in, not private jet, it was a Big but it was plane. private for big, you guys. Yeah, a private, massive plane. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And so the city squad, like they're in first class. Me and Simon are in business, and there's just like a like a, a curtain between yeah. us and them. So and keep separating the peasants. So yeah, yeah. As long as they didn't have to see us, then it was fine. <laughs> but like, it was weird because usually when you go on a shoot like that, you're you know like there's the YouTubers and there's the footballers. But yeah. this was like City literally treated us like the footballers. Yeah. Um. So it was just insane. And then yeah, we so we. You, what were the footballers like to you? Did they sort of engage in that oh. dynamic or did they look at you and go they didn't, well, who are these, they didn't who are these little neat this curtain was in the way <laughs> <laughs> like, so they didn't really see us unless they walked to the toilet and back we right. were like all right, that's fine. Kevin, um, you fancy coming to the piss? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, I don't think Kevin really spoke to us after getting Rabonad in the face <laughs> in the yeah. shoot in that video. Um, but I remember I filmed with Yaya Torre. He went past yeah. when they were uh, getting the... Yeah, so one of the weirdest experiences was us all standing around like the, the you know the the luggage belts you yeah. get at airports and there's like Aguero and Pep just like taking their suitcases off the carousel. Yeah. Um, but that's when Yaya Torre came up and he's like, "All right, Chris, how you doing?" I was like, no way, oh, that's, that's actually sick. Cool. Remembers yeah. my name, which is quite cool. Um, so yeah, that whole experience was like just we were treated as the footballers. And I remember going to the hotel and you couldn't order some of the stuff off the menu because they'd set it up like it was a footballer's room and they don't allow the footballers to order like fries and, or like burgers yeah. or something. No way. So yeah, there's only certain things you could order. Um, but yeah, the day was just mental. It's crazy. That wow. And and so then from there, you were over there. What And, and were you just told, yeah, guys, just sort of hang out have a good time while you're here or was it like okay you guys have been brought here to do this this and this once you've done that you know what, what was the vibe because you filmed it, your video and yeah, this is yeah. where there's a super viral clip of um simon raboning right, right. it hitting it off the bar and then it whacks kevin who in was in face. goal kevin yes. de bruyne in the face and that went like mega viral yeah it's outrageous like the best midfielder in the world and simon Getting just hit him in the face yeah clapped him in the yeah. face um but it, it was it was literally like we've flown here for 20 minutes yeah do whatever you like apart from that it was it was like a holiday but just yeah that's it's, amazing it's, it's stupid like i think it takes a few years until you look back and you're like how did we scamp that you yeah, know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah how did we manage to make these people think that we were worth that didn't but um, the, it worked didn't it take a while as well for you to like so when you get in the footage to upload it i swear i remember speaking to simon because it was, oh, one it was, it was hit, there was some audio hit issues. in the face and i swear that it took so long that city ended up uploading it city him. uploaded it before because i and think was, the, the audio I think, I think i just had less of a life than simon around that time yeah. so like i sat there and sorted out all the audio and stuff and simon was like i'm just gonna leave it and then they uploaded the video and then i think simon uploaded his video like a month late so mine's on like 20 mil uh, oh, I, I think you Simon's do on get like banged a bangers, bangers, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we've we brought up two of my most viewed videos what so. is the most viewed video on your channel like do you know it's actually tough mudder weirdly hey, um, really it's doing tough mudder yeah that just banged also what's also, that uh copyrighted so oh, that's um, uh, are a lot of your top ones copyrighted then yes yes yeah. yes 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 how much you how much you reckon you've lost but in money tough, to, tough to, mudder to, over 100 grand because it's a 25 minute video um <laughs> 20 million views the cpm was like well it was big it was big. I, I worked it out one day and i was like <sighs> that's depressing <laughs> it, was, it was a bad day it was a bad day great title there so Chris you, loses 100 grand on video that is that is insane and then you've obviously you got your ronaldo one again that one but, but it's, yeah, it, it depends how long the videos are because you know obviously if it's like a yeah, five minute video then yeah, it, but you're it compared so, to a 25 but you're like still like that there. you know that's another yeah, yeah, 30 40 money, grand money. yeah 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 that's a couple nerf I've, I've been copyright free for the last <laughs> the, nerf, the nerf was one money making <laughs> Not really. <laughs> it's just emotional damage. Yeah, <laughs> nostalgia was just hitting you too hard. You was, was like, I've got to make another Nerf Wars, man. I want to feel like I'm eight again. Do you know, I actually, the the fourth one we did was actually like some of the most fun I've had, and just Stephen tries coming up to the, like this weird fourth. cottage in the lake. District, so there was yeah. four. 
no four, fourth video. Four, no, yeah, no fourth. yeah. There's, there's been four. Yeah, but the fourth one was one that we actually like filmed and properly did, which is actually quite fun. Yeah, that is good. And then what else you got? Uh, what 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 is your most viewed one? Yeah, yeah tough mother. Tough, tough mother. Oh, yeah. sorry. You got tough mother. Yeah. You've tough got mother, um, the Cristiano Ronaldo, Ronaldo one that banged. One. The um, Man City one. I think Harry's got to be in. I think Jersey v Guernsey. We did one oh, of those. That, did well. that was yeah. big back in the day. Copyrighted. Uh, no, actually, no. I, think, I think Ollie's been fighting the copyright war for the last like really? three years. Your cousin. It, yeah, I, I don't want to say too much about it because I don't want people from UMG watching this video and then being like, hang on, we've got a gold mine on the Chris <laughs> Ivey channel here. So it will happen. And I had like, like 2017 to 2020 maybe, like, because yeah. I've been copyright free, using copyright free. I mean, that is honestly something for YouTubers that you can my voice is breaking, I'm getting sweaty. But like <laughs> anyone that starts on YouTube, just make sure you don't use copyright music because yeah. it's just it's just dumb, like the amount Stressful. of money you use. Yeah. Well, yeah. I know, I know, um, um, Harry has oh, on yes. his main channel anyways yeah. well which is RIP right now but yeah, um, yeah like he has made like people might, will probably look at that channel and go wow he must have caked it look at all these videos minimum mm -hmm. 20 mil a vid but he's using copyright music in yes. all this he's essentially every time he made a video he was willingly saying I don't want the 30 40 grand I'm gonna make off this yeah. video. yes 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 I was, which I'm is insane same. I, I remember, the I remember same Really? Yeah, but even though obviously I wasn't making that. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah but really. still. So I could upload a football video and maybe I know it's going to get, you know, 400, 500k views. Mm. If I have used a song in that video and I look back at the edit and I think, it's so good and it gets copyrighted, I just keep it and go. Really? Yeah, well, there's, well some t that's what I used to do because I used to think it's actually worth yeah. it if I get copyrighted. Yeah, in the, long, in the long run. But you can actually, um, there's a site called Licked at the moment that actually, it's the only site I know that you can actually use songs that are in charts. What, and stuff. What's that called? It's called Licked. Uh, they'll love that. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, that people are like definitely going to accidentally really end good. up on the wrong site. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah <laughs> Might not be the wrong Chris site though, you know. Yeah. yeah, but no, it's, it's actually really, really good because yeah. they have, they, they like sort of grow every week. And I did like, I did actually do like a promo video for them. Yeah. Cause it's the only site that I found that, um, for, I think for my channel, it's like 200 quid or something like that. But uh -huh. like, if, if you got a big video and it's like, uh, I don't know. Like it was, it was for one of the videos that we did, um, the penalty one for the iPhones and the car and stuff. Yeah, I used, yeah, yeah, I used yeah. like a song by The Offspring. Oh, and like sick. you would never be able to use something like that yeah. usually. And people like in the comments, people are like, oh, like loving the fact that it's like an OG song and stuff like that. So that's the only way I know. To and actually, you didn't get claimed, and you see no, no, because they deal with it. They you get a claim, yeah. and then they take it off, and wow. like they, they so they've that's gone good. to the, the artist and the label and sorted out a deal, yeah. and so then you just pay a little bit. That's the I mean, only that's, place. That's I know. the way it should be, though. Exactly. Like, I, I've gone to people before and said how much to use a fifteen second clip yeah. of like. And what did you get um, quoted? Fifteen grand. 15 grand, 15 so a grand, grand a for, second. Uh, yes, yes, yes. And, and that was for like, it was for a song that went in, in like the top 50, I can't remember what it was. It was just like a club tune or something. Yeah. Um, but it's just like, what, 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 like, surely you're missing out on money here. Because yeah. if you actually set up like some sort of way for YouTubers to be able to pay for these cool songs, people are gonna do it, but. Yeah, and, no. and, and it's just like the exposure to the song, you know, you yeah. you're a kid, you're watching a Chris D video, he's just wrapped it, top bins, and he's got this song yeah. playing. And the drop, because all yeah, the comments yeah, are always yeah. like, what's yeah. this song yeah, at 15, exactly. 26? We've got two million viewers yeah. watching this, and, and everyone's gonna be like, fuck, oh, this is a banger, yeah. go yeah. and watch and listen to it. And That's then, what I always yeah. thought, like I always thought we'd get away with, because there was a period mm -hmm. where you didn't get claimed for it, and yeah. I thought we'd get away with it, because it's basically like free promo Exposure, for them. Yeah. But yeah, it's not really Like if you go to that song's YouTube, like if you go to that song on YouTube, and Chris has just used it, all the comments will be like, who's here from Chris yeah, 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 All yeah, the top yeah, comments. Yeah. It's, it's proof that yeah. it works. You actually had at one point, I think there was where loads of claims had come through. Yes. Um, and so then you literally went and hired your cousin, yeah, Ollie. Ollie. Ollie spent like, um, like a year maybe going through and trying to sort out copyright claims. Cause now with a YouTube editor, you can actually cut them out. Yeah. So if you've got like a 20 minute video and you've been claimed for like 10 seconds, yeah. even if it's like a fairly decent part of the video, if you cut it out, then obviously you're earning thousands of pounds. Again. Yeah. So um, how much, how much is it that you reckon you saved just by, well, you had all the working on it. Yeah. Yeah. For like so much. Really? Um, yeah. Like, I mean, I try not to think about the amount that's taken. Like I remember ha looking at Harry's channel. So one time we were filming in 2016 and like, I remember we would, you know, as you do comparing YouTube dashboards yeah. and I was earning twice as much as the huge, as the W2S channel yeah. in 2016 because he Which is when so he was claims. popping as yes. well. So like the amount that these people would have been earning off Harry's channel is just sickening. I, I seriously reckon you're probably looking at like three or four million pounds at a minimum. Money. At, oh, seriously, Harry, like, Harry's got a lot of videos. Well, but not on, only that, but it's all his residuals because yeah, he just doesn't is. earn money yeah, off YouTube. Yeah, yeah. 
So all the old seriously. videos stacking up views. He's he's just not an independent. He, he, w- he would yeah. not upload for a month and still do sixty million views. That yeah. Month. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. that's abs- Like if you yeah. think about it, that's actually insane. Yeah. yeah. So when you would cut out a clip of say a big video back in a day, <laughs> would it even matter if it was like the game winning clip? Like, <laughs> oh, there's a couple of times won, you, I was like, you've won the entire shootout with this yeah, one goal, but yeah, now you just, just have to cut it out. It's like sudden death. Video ends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've got Jimmy watching there, like, that makes sense. No, there's definitely ones where you have to be careful, and you're like, is it worth? It probably most of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's yeah. a bit of times where I've cut out big things. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, well, money's money. Yeah, exactly. You got any <laughs> other? Uh, you did a video recently with Trent. You like your big thing? I mean, you have worked with probably the most footballers out of anyone, right? Yeah. I think on YouTube. Actually, I mean, to be fair, like obviously you got like Philly and Chunks that do a lot of interviews and stuff. Yeah, but in there. terms of just like actual football videos, football, I think football videos yeah. probably. Um, and who, who's been who's been your favorite to work with? Have, is there, has there been one that's better in or oh, really better in or Fabregas? Yeah, that's, that's always my answer. Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, they're just really really nice. Um, I think yeah. it makes a difference when you have a lot of time with them as well because it's not just like media time. It's like you can actually chat to them and yeah, yes, yeah. But like yeah. Fabregas, I was just fanboying the whole time. Like you know, I was just turning up and I was like, this is the player. You know, everyone has that player that you want to be as a kid yeah um and it was very yeah i was just like i wanted to be you yeah. since the age of like eight <laughs> so like, yeah. and now here i am a 21 year old man yes yeah, so i just set up a video for him to play three balls for me to finish <laughs> and like he was like all right that's a dream come true yeah, really. yeah. So, wasn't there a uh there was one video that you actually asked him to be part of and there's kind of like a funny almost like a miscommunication behind it, it was about a cha- like him donating to charity oh I yeah remember. yeah yeah like I, I was like yeah the, for this video when we were doing when covid kicked off and we were doing i was doing um every time you conceded you donate a thousand pounds of course i, I, think you I did three, that yeah you yeah. three thousand pounds out of my uh, bank yeah, account yeah, no, I, lo- I think i lost 24 in that video <laughs> it's a terrible month yeah <laughs> um but yeah so i i think i messaged him about that and like yeah he just misunderstood the concept just donated a thousand pounds i was like well you know fair enough but like, so you asked him to play a game of fifa with you and every goal that he would have yeah. conceded he had to pay a thousand, a thousand pounds, pounds yeah but and he just didn't yeah, understand yeah, that he would, part he was just I, I he was just like um yeah I've, I've done it like that's all sorted donated a thousand pounds and i was like not really what i asked for but i'll take it i suppose <laughs> just but, got a grand donation off Cesc Fabregas yeah, for, for literally nothing yeah. but it is weird because like it, now he follows me on twitter and yeah. occasionally i'll just get the odd reply off Fabregas. Oh, really i don't even at him and sometimes yeah. it's, it's been a while now yeah. but you know like yeah. it's it's very mm-hmm. yeah i wish i could go back to to you know 10 year old not 10 year old me like 15 year old me when Fabregas yeah. was popping and be yeah. like Oh, By the way, just so, so you know, you'll be so chatting so. to him in 10 years, like that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then you, uh, has, there, has there been like the weirdest encounter or one that you've just been like, this was a very strange shoot. I'm worried about how this video is going to turn out. I'm trying not to like repeat stories, but uh, we had one with um, the, the Man City one when they turned up. Willy Caballero had like a tennis racket and he just like whacked a tennis ball at me and Simon. And like, you know, you- wait, is this out on the trip? Yes, yes, you can yeah. see it in one of the videos. I think it's in City's highlights one. Uh-huh. But like, they just show Willie hitting the, the the tennis ball, and it literally. So we're like, I, I think I actually said this on Simon's podcast. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. really, we're just stealing content off him. But That's I'm fine with that. So uh, we, yeah, we're, we're about I don't know, 15, 20 meters away. Like they're just coming up. We're about to say hello. Wax a tennis ball at us, and it goes like a meter over Simon's head, and we were just like this is weird like <laughs> it's a really strange atmosphere like we've just he's just attempted to assault us with the tennis ball like how do we just go up and what be like thanks of, for that mate how are you doing what like, kind of like what, what was his expression when he was doing it though was it was like, it like venom know, he whacked yeah. it and then just like laughed with the players and it was like oh, oh, oh like taking a piss out of you maybe well i don't know it was just weird and it was that like, is oh. weird but he was fine in the video really nice yeah I, so. I filmed with him he was he was absolutely yeah, yeah, sound yeah. so didn't try he didn't to, take off my head with a racket no 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 didn't try and assault us any more times you could have just told him so. You are second choice. Yeah. I don't know. Your name is literally Willie, yeah. mate. Yeah. What are you doing? Willie. Yeah. And you're not a first name. My second name is also Dixon's. So I probably don't have yeah. legs. <laughs> you know, we'd have a good laugh. That's so, I mean, that's one thing that I noticed about footballers, though, is you see, like, the way you're whacking it, they're just dicking around, they're just having fun, right? Is that that's the biggest thing when it comes to footballers. They're all, the, like, they're all just, it's the same. Everyone's just kids and just messes around. Yeah. You sometimes um, feel so like they're children and they've yeah. got all these people around them and they're literally, like, looking, like, holding their hand and looking after every single 
single thing but it's generally like the people around them just make you want to make sure that they don't get pissed off and yeah. so like the, the footballers are generally fine for them yeah that's what I've noticed as well it's like it's the because it, going back sort even, of even up, the Ronaldo shoot the Ronaldo was like it was that, yeah. he was well he was having a final time because he'd just done a thousand really shit boring interviews yes. and finally we're doing something a bit more engaging yep, yep, yep. Um, and yet the people behind it were just determined to suck the fun <laughs> out of every part <laughs> yeah. of my video yeah. well he's not getting <laughs> brought back for the but third fragrance launch <laughs> so you did go back for the second one right and where was that that was it when he'd moved it to Juventus Tur- Turin right? yeah so um that one was like crazy because we did the shoot and then they were like we don't have anyone to do like do you remember last time there was a girl that was doing the presentation yes and she was like hosting the party and it was like a little bit awkward yeah um but like so they were like, we don't have anyone to host it or anything. Um, we need someone to do that. Would you be okay with doing that? And it was and, like- And they asked you when you were there. I was, as I was flying over. Oh, okay. And I was like, like I obviously they know that it's Ronaldo. They yeah. know that you've got like, you know, it, they, can, yeah, they can ask you what you want and you'll yeah. be like, yes. But um, it, it was- because They I, finessed I've, you then. Oh, well, I've never, preso- uh, preso- I've never presented like a live event or anything. You know? uh-huh. like, I'm not a host of anything. And so suddenly they were like, yeah, we're streaming this on his Instagram. Um, make sure you hype up the room. There's like Piers Morgan hype and his uh, his film crew in the crowd along with about 30 people. Uh-huh. They're like, yeah, so Ronaldo's coming in about 20 seconds, just like hype it up and like, oh. make it. And I so we're like, like, come Whoa. on guys, come on. Oh, you know, like, I can cheesy. imagine it, I can imagine it. A, oh my God, like, this is the Chris most there, anxiety I've ever had. Come on Piers, I want to see a clap for Ronaldo. Life. But not, like in the end, I was just like, oh, uh, can we get a big round of applause for Cristiano? Ronaldo and like it was fine did it work well, like yeah well yeah it was fine because like you couldn't really uh, also they weren't streaming it on his Instagram it was on like his fragrances Instagram oh, but they said okay. it's going live on his Instagram and I was like oh, oh 200 no. million followers are oh, watching no. me make my first public speech ever live. <laughs> that's um, amazing so it, but it actually turned out fine and I thought like the mic would be you know like literally shaking yeah and did, mental, did, but did you get did okay. you get around the pause that you asked for uh well yeah I think so yeah. like um, you know those um the, sorry in you know those tw- which cringe compilations when there's people on stage, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, come on, can we get something for Zelda? Cal, wait, wait, Cal, you mean, no, wait, you mean the ninja clip? Ninja, of him ninja, <laughs> New York, oh, I'm, yes. Yeah, I'm looking for some more movement. I'm not seeing enough yeah, movement, guys. Enough He's just there floss. That's horrible. <laughs> That's, but, but that can happen to anyone. That's the thing. It's yeah. just, yeah, yeah, that is. But luckily, it wasn't one of those. It wasn't there one was of those. Enough, oh, there was enough of a cheer. I didn't get, you know, burnt by the stake by Ronaldo's team. And, you know. That's all Maybe right. the but they did finesse launch. you. I, I'll be back. Yes. They did finesse you a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, that is. Um, nice that's to so hear. You, nice to hear you guys talking about how many times you've met Ronaldo. Yeah. I'm yeah. A Just United the two fan and so I, far. As, well, as well, a United well, fan, what's yeah. it like not to have met? It's, him? It's, it sucks, but at the same time, you guys are a lot bigger than me, so you're always gonna get yeah. that opportunity. What in terms of like physical, I, uh, physical, like uh, massive? I can't really say that to be honest. Look at the size of me, but. Um, <laughs> Back in the day when Ronaldo missed a sitter for United, I had Against a big Sunderland. Ronaldo. I had a big like glass Ronaldo poster on the wall. I've come into my room fuming. You know when you're no. fuming, your mum shouts yes, at you yes, yes. and you're screaming like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I've like, come in. Greatest, I've, have I've you brought, seen that video? The greatest freak out ever. Like that. Take your shirts off. And, and just, he's like, just like slam your torso and the down. And the guy's like, "You tripping, bro?" <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I've come into my room. I've grabbed a large rubber. Yeah. Okay, Wait, and I've, no. I've slinged it. Surely not through the wall. No, at age not. eight. No, 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 no. I know no. I was strong and all, but okay. I've slinged it at yeah. this Ronaldo glass poster. The thing's just gone. Pow. And were you happy a gl- with it? A glass that? poster. Yeah, I because just had, like, he match missed such an important thing. I was like so angry. I was like, I, I used to write. It was a calendar, right? So I used to write. Um, like all the stuff over like the glass, all the goals he'd scored every time yeah. he scored a goal. Oh, I was so like obsessed. It was very sad. Wow. It was very sad. <laughs> yeah. And that makes it even sadder because at least it's you smashed. got to meet Fabregas. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Ronaldo, if he saw me, he'd think, skinny yeah. peasant. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing Ronaldo <laughs> thinks when he sees yeah. me. Skinny peasant. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, hopefully that time will come one day. I'll probably just say, for a rubber at post if he wants. <laughs> yeah. That's quite impressive to break glass with oh, a rubber. Oh no, the anger was serious. Yeah, mate, you know yeah. like uh, when they always talk about like if a mother needs to lift a car to save her burning children. Yeah, yeah, she will. I, that adrenaline That's rush. the adrenaline that I had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Fight or flight. I, um, I used to yeah. have match magazines up on my wall and like I remember, I remember just, just ripping William Gallas's head off once just why? in a just like the same a thing fury. just a pure yeah in a fury, pure one day. You know, but like probably just him taking the number 10 I was like you're a defender <laughs> 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 That's my number. I wear that. A fucking jersey. I'm sorry. You don't play in the Rooney role. 
<laughs> this is like the most Chris MD rage of all time. <laughs> it's so funny. I swear to God, yeah. When when you're like in, between the ages of eight and twelve, that is when you peak in terms of strength. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the superhuman strength I you swear. have in those ages are ridiculous. I swear like, I could. Xbox have controllers anyone. don't stand a chance. No. Like, no. They they get decimated. Like uh-huh. you just you just flick an arm at the it's wall, crazy, bang, man. gone. Yeah, shit I used to do when I was 12 was crazy, man. I used Whoa. to have an Xbox 360, right? Yeah. And it used to overheat every, like, 20 minutes. I'd be getting a new game, play 20 minutes, and just shut off. <laughs> and I'd get so pissed. So what <laughs> I would do, so what I would do, and i tell you what, I was way ahead of the game, engineering genius. I would open my window. I got an extension cable. I actually put my Xbox and put it on the outside of the window, Ooh. on the window ledge <laughs> yeah, with yeah, cellar yeah. tape so it would stick to the window and didn't fall two stories oh, down. Oh, wow. And I swear to God, the shit would not turn off. Really? I was playing new. I was like, "There's no overheating air, baby. Fresh air." Mate, I, I remember um, losing a FIFA game once, and I whacked the top of my Xbox 360, yeah. pulled out the disc, and it's got like lines all across it oh, because I'd hit no. it so that it like scraped the, the disc. The super strength. Oh, I'd say worst no. day of my life. Oh. To be fair though, if you try FIFA to recreate 12. that now, you couldn't do it. No, because, no. because I'm telling because, you, the power and yeah. the precision of a ten year old, yeah, Not is outrageous. Close. No. But no, I, I, you know what? I never really had too much like rage moments. I probably broke like one or two controllers max. But back in the FIFA days, like people were cycling through controllers weekly. Yeah. yeah. You know? I, I, um, I swear, uh, there's, there's some, some FIFA YouTubers like break the desk, you know, like slam well, ha- yeah. Harry, like the amount of times. So well, yeah. Harry, yeah, but that's all for the camera, isn't it? He's not actually angry. No, like, no he's no, not. He's but, not, but you know, he doesn't get that angry. Really, he, does he? He's filming at, he, he only filmed at like 2 a.m. Right, and so I'm trying to sleep, and then I wake hey. up to crash, bang, <laughs> smack, and he is kicking off. I've woken up as if I'm in the middle of a fucking war zone, uh, and then I go through. I'm like, all right, and he's there, like, oh yeah, so I was just doing like pack opening like that. There's about four holes in his wall with like a, a, the the controllers are still hanging out of them. The, yeah. the um, I remember watching a W2S video, and like obviously knowing that you guys live on like the 40th floor or whatever in London, yeah. and he just wings a controller at the window, and you're like, yeah. well, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> yeah. do you not understand? Like there are some limits here, Harry. No. Like, yeah. that, that, those anymore. were fucking military windows. <laughs> yeah, the, heat, the heat coming in from that shit was definitely ridiculous. Yeah. Those windows had seen some shit and yeah. been through some you shit. Got to throw a controller in there, though. Audience retention, man. Like it's got to be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so true. Um, so you've done, you know, you worked with all those guys, but another time you did actually go out with uh, Harry was out to Canada to film with Real Madrid, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's actually like a, a really interesting backstory to this because, or not, maybe not backstory, but after you guys had filmed, because this was at a time uh, Real Madrid had just messaged uh, you and Harry and said, we'd love you to come and film with the team when we're doing like preseason out in Canada. And obviously Harry's come through to me. He's like, oh my, Real Madrid have asked me to go through. He's like, I'm praying Eden Hazard is one of the players. Cause you yeah, didn't yeah. get told the players. Mm-hmm. You were just like, we'll give you some access to yeah, some of the players. Yeah, they, now, said, they said four players. Yeah, oh, and, so and Hazard had been, just, no, just this was shot. just moved. Yeah, yeah, yeah just he, moved. Just gone for 80 yeah. mil, I think it was. Yeah. And Ooh. we were like, oh my God, if it's Hazard, like we- It would have banged. Yeah, we've like, banged. It, it would have, it's super popper. Um, anyways, uh, explain that whole series because it was a bit like there's a bit of after is after the film yeah, right? well, I'm trying to tell these stories without losing all my future relationships yeah sorry I'm sticking no, you in no, the mud it's, it's every fine, time it's fine. It's um, okay. so yeah we filmed and the it, it, the shoot went really really well and everything <laughs> uh, it went perfectly and everything really really and, yeah, really, yeah, really well really really well so well <laughs> and then unfortunately one of the players transferred went out on loan afterwards um, and so then they couldn't actually have him in the content like legally they own the, this other team owned the rights for him yeah uh, so then we had to they said like you can either try and cut him out or something and so me and my editor spent like two weeks just masking this guy out of the footage <laughs> so if you what if you saw the video when it was live um we that was without one of the we filmed with four players and yeah. we cut out one player entire on the whole person video yeah. by masking and taking out like his audio and everything like this yeah and we smashed it. I thought it was really, really good. But then it turned out that something else had happened or like someone higher up at Real Madrid had basically just said, like, we can't have these going out anymore. And so uh, we were like, well, that's sort of like a week of our lives that we'll never get back. Um, yeah, because you've flown all the way out week there. for Harry, not three weeks like ah. it was for me. Wait, so why, was, why was it three weeks of your life? Because we then spent two oh, weeks- Oh, the two like, weeks masking it sorting out. That's outrageous. Yeah, 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 they owe you some money. So are you allowed to say why it- They didn't tell us, they didn't tell us. That's That's 
what was the annoying thing that's why me and harry uploaded our videos because we were like i think we deserve to actually be told why yeah. this can't go out we've spent this amount like obviously it's sick to be taken out to real madrid like yeah that is we're so privileged to do that but for like three weeks of our time for them yeah. to just be told sorry it can't go out it's just like yeah. like really that's massive, massive, out of order. Yeah. No, we've exactly not signed anything as well yeah. so it was like realistically yeah you pretty What's much nearly spent a month doing fucking all that for yeah. nothing. So yeah, exactly. Literally nothing. Yeah, and it was a video with Hazard as well. Yeah. So it was like, it's a banger. Well, yeah, so Hazard was one of the four and players it, in it the It wasn't end. even like, he didn't perform badly. There wasn't anything in the video that you could see as like, it, it was just not being told what's wrong. Yeah. That was really annoying. So I have I had my um, conspiracy as to why they didn't want to go uh, this to go out, okay, right? Okay. And my conspiracy was actually Hazard Eden Hazard at the too. time. It, no, well he uh, well maybe he didn't look great yeah. in it, <laughs> but more so his performances in the league were pretty poor at the time. Off Honestly, the bat, he just scored. Like yeah. I, I remember watching his performances, and he just scored his debut goal, and that's when they were like, "Can't." Act was out, he so. doing a preseason Higuain? Oh, what, were they I just coming he, overweight? But he he is notorious for that, yeah. though. He, he's, he gave, yeah. like, 10 he, kg overweight. Yeah, so. always. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely did. Definitely like, was overweight. I, he didn't look particularly big in the video. Like, he, you know, like, the bottom was as, Not as particularly, as usual, but. you know? Like, <laughs> a few times when you're just... He sort of does have mad bundle, though. He, yeah, yeah, Eden Hazard does have a massive ass. Like, yeah. Yeah. He's got a great bum. And a great so, compliment, so by the way. I'd, I'd say probably the best in football. I'm trying to think. It's better than most girls have ever seen, in my opinion. And It's very, very good. I'm yeah, I think who rivals him? Not Harry, not many. Struggling. Oh, Harry's, Harry's got a peachy run. Harry, Mate, I saw both of them in the flesh. Oh and yeah, it was, there was no. So as well, as well, obviously no we're all friends with Harry. Yes, we've all been privileged enough to be, grab Harry's ass, right? With consent. With yeah. consent, of course. Yeah. Right, Chris. No, yeah, you just seem to stutter on the consent line. There, but <laughs> Listen, what Anyways, me and Harry do in our okay. spare time is none of our business. Yes. Yeah. Um. But no, like Eden Hazard, literally, you could you could it's you crazy. could rest this pint on the on the back of it, and yes. it'd be perfectly fine. But it's yeah. crazy how he's dropped off since then. But uh, he's, yeah. he's had injuries, hasn't he? Yeah, he's had a lot it. of injuries. I've really paid fair, that much attention. Still, to he's still him. registered a few games, and he's not doing much. Yeah, yeah. it's Plus, weird though. Like the Real Madrid straight. fans as well. Like they yeah. are very hot and cold on people, yeah. aren't they? Like yeah. I remember, like Bale, he got r so After much stick. Crazy, yeah. And so I, I right. always thought as well, Eden has had like coming from the, you know, the Prem, we call it the toughest league, he's gone from Chelsea to Real Madrid. I thought he's, he's going to have a field day over there. It's going to be light work, 20 goals, 20 assists, whatever. Yeah. Mm. But he should have done that. I, I don't, I, yeah, I think, he that's what like, I thought was I think it is injuries. Yeah. Um, I just hate, you know, when a player signs for Barca or Real Madrid and they stick them out in front of the crowd and make <gasps> oh, them do like so, uh, 20 keep-ups. And, keep yeah. and it's just like, it's such a oh, recipe God. for disaster because if you stick any professional football, like they're going to feel the pressure. They've done, like, it, they've done it a few times and the players have had mate, a stinker. Here, two, the, two, two of my favorite ones, you guys will be able to check these uh, videos out as well. I think the first one with Osman Dembele, they just signed for like oh, 120 or a mil. Yes, yes, and, yes. And so what they do is in front of the board, uh, like, so they take them to the new camp and then uh, there's a board behind them with the Barca Alone sponsors and stuff, and they just asked them, Can you please do some keepy uppy so we can get some shots for so we can put out on socials, whatever? And somehow, like the well, the press are still just putting these videos out, and it's the geezer not being able to do more than like three oh, keepy uppies, no. and it just looks like the worst bit of like what is it like PR that could possibly happen? They've done that, right? Okay, so the Usman Dembele one happens, right? And you think, right, okay, they've learned their lesson. They're they're gonna they're not gonna do this again. They're not gonna do that. And it, I might got the order mixed up here, but then I swear they signed Paulinho. He oh, was at oh, Brazil. Paulinho, Paulinho. Paulinho. Yeah, 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 Paulinho. Yes, yes, yes. The same thing happened. Well, that's, oh, that's because he genuinely wasn't a very good player. No, 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 no. But Why it doesn't we... matter. If you are a <laughs> yeah, footballer, you can do five like, keepy uppies, Chris. Right, so um, when we were filming with Trent the other day, yeah. he was doing stuff for the Sport Bible. And mm. like, so before they were doing like half volleys or something. And like, mate, ha ha Trent's half volleys are the best I have ever seen. Like, really? it was insane. Like, he's... Uh, outside of the box, edge of the D, and they're like, so you can just hit a few half volleys. And he's like, yeah, where do you want it? Like, which GoPro am I aiming for? No and he, he, he hits 10 half volleys, like, you know, as the ball bounces. And like, they're all within like a, a I don't know, like, like a area. five meter radius or like a three meter radius. And for half volleys, like, what the hell? How can you hit half volley yeah. on the edge of the box, like 10 in a row and get them all in? in that in, is yeah. wild. It was mental. But like, they, they also asked him to do like, um, some sort of like freestyle, like juggling or something. And it was crazy. It was like he didn't have that many tricks in the locker. Yeah. And certain footballers, like Messi, for example, I know that he just has no juggle. Like, like he just no doesn't skills. have any skills in the locker. Because yeah. why would you if you've never like? Well, they mean nothing them. in the game. Right? Exactly. Yeah. It's and literally so, for sure. Yeah. So it was just crazy seeing Trent so good at all of this, and then like 
just I think the guy said to him like have you got any tricks that you like to use or anything I was like yeah. not really, not really. <laughs> yeah. just like that's probably do crazy. a barn around the world or something maybe yeah, yeah but like why would you need to yeah, yeah. Um, oh, that's then, so interesting you, you, know, you, know, you know everyone knows people who are like terrible on a football pitch but can do like around the world and stuff like that and it's, it's what it's like so every freestyler ever well yeah yeah I but think like, what, what was it Didn't, they had oh. a team actually my uh, my old uh, club Rebel FC we played against a, uh, a team filled with freestylers and we oh. packed them in 11 nil. really oh. yeah but having 11 said that, nil. 11 nil. And you're talking like, you know, some of the best freestylers well, they can in the freestyle, UK. Yeah. but they don't have any other ability on yeah. the pitch, right? Wow. Yeah. I thought F2 FC were better than that, but. Well, they didn't lose uh, 11 nil to us, to be fair. Oh, that's so. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, well, anyways, I just thought the, uh, the whole, yeah, that whole like keepy uppy thing is really actually interesting because I don't know, you ju you just assume that they'd be able yeah, to do all these ballers. cool tricks and tricks and yeah. things like that. But I, I suppose they just don't want to give a shit yeah. because you're never going to use it on the pitch, yeah. really. I'd love to see Messi trying like a rainbow flick or something just to know if like- No, he, he's got to be able to do a rainbow flick, Chris, come on. Oh, what no, do you reckon? no, Chris, Chris, I, know. I can do a rainbow flick. Messi can do a rainbow flick. All, All right. right, maybe not a rainbow flick, but like, um, you know, like a, a double around the world or something yeah. like that. Yeah, you know? okay, maybe yeah. that, yeah. Maybe okay, that. right, listen up, Messi, if you're watching this, we know you're watching this. Could you please just post a video of you attempting a rainbow flick or back to back around the world? Yeah, exactly. You can't have Chris Dixon slandering your. Um... Not like this. Uh, King. It, it wasn't sla I, I Sorry, mate. You can't post like that, you can't do it. Ah, there we go. That's yeah. true. Just, that's that's if true. you don't post it, Messi. We know you can't yeah, do it. Yeah, you like can't this. do it. Because there's no chance he's not watching this. No, he's 100. Bro, all his mates are sending in this video yes. right now. Yes, 100%. I've had a DM off Messi saying, love the pod, bro. Thank you. Yeah. Get yeah. me on keep, at some keep, point. Keep, he says, keep up, bro. Keep up the good work, in my broski bro, bro. And I said, no problem, my uh, bizzle. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, uh, so have you seen this uh, Twitch clip of Aguero when he's streaming and Messi just phones him? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's so yeah. They're proper good no, friends. I've never What's seen, this? like, except for that interview Messi did when he almost left Barca. I find it so fascinating whenever Messi talks because you, you never see him, like, doing interviews or anything. Yeah. And, like, Aguero just phones him and they're just chatting about, like, what they're doing next week, the family and stuff like this. And it's just so weird hearing Messi. What, in English or? Uh, Spanish, but, like, there's subtitles and stuff. Oh, it's okay. very, very cool. What's yeah. what, I, mate, you're so right because, you know, Ronaldo comfortable in front of camera, always in yeah. front of camera, more Messi than happy to share his life on social media. Mm -hmm. You get very little of that from Messi. So even those tiny interactions, mm -hmm. you're talking about, in my opinion, the greatest player of all well, time. And, and that's why like, even him just having a conversation, it's like, so, it's so crazy. sad, but it's yeah. so powerful. Like, you're it? just watching like, just give me more. Yeah, I, I just want to know everything. Uh, I'll tell you what, Chris. So obviously we've got to ask this question with you being like one of the biggest football YouTubers on mm -hmm. the planet. Um, I would say you are the you. biggest. Yeah, I'll put you, you are right up there. Name, name someone bigger. Uh, I mean, well, I mean we have to have more subscribers. No, yeah, no, nah, but nah. Yeah, in terms of right here, right now, yeah. you you are at F2 the top. F two haven't top been on dog. this pod, so it's got to be you. Nah, I mean, yes, very true. Yeah. And After this podcast, this, he knows yeah. as well. Well, anyway, um, we do need to get your answer on this: the greatest footballer of this time. generation of all time. Maybe if you want to uh, bring in the old guys, because Pelé's well, a fraud. What, by I'm, the way. what I'm really asking here is Cristiano Ronaldo or Lionel Messi. It's, it's Lionel Messi. It's, it's, it's obvious. Oh, I, 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 but it's not even. Right. I don't think it's even a conversation for people that know ball. If it's yeah. Messi or it's, oh, it, don't, there, there no, 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 no. We, we can't take the United fans. Honestly, point yeah, of it's true. It's true. I, I saw it's true. A tweet, I saw a tweet once that said the only people that think Ronaldo is better than Messi are. People who look at themselves at the gym, uh, people who support Man United, and people who support Rangers. I fall into and the United the category. Words so it's, I have it, it, ever it technically heard in my life. might be true, but you know. You well, know. And you do look at yourself in the gym sometimes as well. I've, I've well, when you've got biceps like this, guys. It's hard not to. Hard not to, but, but yeah. The thing, I, there was a few years where Ronaldo was better than Messi uh, because Messi just had a few stinky years. Yeah. But like. I oh, was there. St I, still 40 goals a season. I just, I just, I just, I just, I just, I just still like, love to see Messi do it in a different league and a different team. But Don't get it wrong. I would yeah, love to see the that. Most I goals am, against the English top I was than so like, down for Messi to go to City, you know. Oh, so I really, love I, Second I biggest United rivals behind yes. Liverpool. And I was still let that yep. happen just so that means we just can watch it. Messi week in, week out. I and I want to see how it would be in the Premier. It would be cool to see. It would be really cool. And I do think he would bang it. But yeah. going back to Messi v Ronaldo, like obviously Ronaldo is such a sick player and like, yeah. but I don't think, if you're talking top players of all time, I don't think he's top three. What? Personally. Ronaldo? Um, Ronaldo's not top three? I wouldn't put Ronaldo top three. I'd oh, say, I'd, I swear to God. I would say, I would say, right. I'd say Messi, Maradona, Pele, but I don't know. I, I, I haven't really watched well, enough I'm glad you were alive to watch like, them all play. I would say, yeah. I'd say Ronaldo, probably the best goal scorer of all time wow. as an athlete. And like just incredible. Yeah. Um, 
but I, as the best footballer of all time, I don't think interesting. he's in the top three. That's but such an interesting take. Okay, you know? I now, appreciate we, a different we, take. We've spoken about the, the guys that are just about leaving us now. What about Kylian Mbappe and Haaland? Who, who, well, they're, they're not, who, they're not no, there yet. No, but who, no, if you had to make a call right now, who do you think is going to go on and Chips be... Chips down, who's becoming the better player? Who, yeah. I'd, what do you reckon? Ooh, I... Mm, I'd have said Mbappe like two years ago, yeah. but I, th I think again, it just depends if he stays at Haaland's PSG because you just feel like he's in a comfort yeah. zone, don't you? Like playing in the French league. I mean, it's not exa it's not like Haaland's in an exactly great league. Timo Werner really? did how many goals in? Yeah. No, 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 but the Bundesliga I, I like is Bundesliga, a better league. Bundesliga is, I mean, it ain't, it ain't crazy better. It ain't really that much better. Don't, don't lie I to don't yourself. I don't know, man. lad. Do I not lie know. to yourself. The space they get in that league is questionable. Anyways. Yeah. Regardless, uh, you know, so your chips down are you would say Mbappe to go on, like you know, let's say you know this is really just saying over the next twenty years yeah. or whatever that you know, or maybe not Jesus twenty. Jesus Christ, fella! How playing long, when they're forty-five. How long are you lot? Yeah. Can he start going for? <laughs> sorry, sorry, fifteen. Over the yeah, next fifteen, years. fifteen, about fifteen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'd probably said Mbappe, um, yeah. because, but they're, they're different players. That's the thing. I think yeah, Haaland's more of just a finisher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Mbappe's more of a can take anyone out, yeah. can take anyone on in the world. Like cool. I would say, Mbappe could dribble past anyone in the world because he's just yeah. stupidly quick. He that is, is yeah, yeah. the ball Fair. at his feet is like it's like dumb, it's yeah. stuck to the foot. Almost. But I, I, feel like, I feel like I feel like Haaland's more of a Ronaldo type player, just like conditioned incredibly, just a, a monster, yes. mate, a, a real beast. At that, at that yeah. age as well is it's pretty nutty. Bro, to it's be crazy. Like, it doesn't make it sense is, when, you, when you watch him and the power. This time he's shrugging off some big, powerful twenty-eight year old yeah. centre backs, and he's just there like. Well, he's, yeah. like, I think he's, his pace is a bit underrated as well because yeah. like there, there's been a few viral clips of it but like every time you see him making a run or something like he just burns yeah. the defenders it's yeah. unreal it's like, like Shannon Briggs said he's, he's got legs and he's white <laughs> oh yeah the very famous <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shannon Briggs remember that one <laughs> he got legs and he's white shout <laughs> <laughs> out Shannon Briggs that's unreal um, but you know, moving a, uh, a little bit away from the from the football chat, um, yeah. I think people knowingly clicked on this uh, Chris MD uh, podcast, <laughs> knowing there was going to be plenty yeah. of football chat, and some probably didn't for that reason. I mean, it's, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's been football chat since a minute exactly. one, right? Yeah, now. That's what yeah. I mean. Um, but you have actually recently moved to London. You're spending wow. a lot more time in London. Yeah. Um, and how's that been? What's it like? Do you like it here? I love it. I love it. My plan is to stay here for me and Shannon. Plan to stay here for the next four or five years. Yeah, uh, that's our that's our plan at the moment. Um, it's so much better than Jersey, just because like the main thing is working with people who are on our time. Because yeah. in Jersey, everything's finance based. There's a lot of um, a lot of my friends just went into um, yeah, just going to finance jobs and stuff. Didn't go to uni, and so there's nothing to do in the day. Like yeah. and filming with people is impossible because there's no one else in Jersey. Right. So just purely on a work base, I feel like I have massively been, even though like the video production probably doesn't look like it on the channel yeah, at the moment, yeah. but I feel like over the next year and stuff, like it will be, it will be much, much better. Well, yeah. I think we have come to the conclusion um, when it comes to renting out a football pitch, prices. <laughs> yes, yes. Lo Horrible. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, that was a big thing if, in Jersey. If, if any uh, London-based football pitches or football teams are watching, I am very open yeah. to offers. Uh, it is horrible booking football pitches every single week. You've been paying quite a bit of money. Well, yes. Let's, not, let's not say the numbers just yet because, you know, if there is anyone that would just like to give one Chris for free in, in yeah. return for a... Uh, uh, honestly, hey, I'm yeah, in, no, this in football return for I, promo, I, I would be surprised. I'll do anything. I'd be surprised yeah. that a pitch would not want to host a Chris and B football video. It's, yeah. it's I, I, have, I have had uh, I've had a couple of chats with um, a few teams, but... Yeah. It's just like, it's, I think it's difficult at the moment because loads of teams are ripping up their pitches. It's sort of poor time in the season. It's <laughs> summer as well. Like, Can we briefly talk about, um, can we can we mention the uh, video that never happened? That should well, have happened? It still might happen. Okay, it still might be. Okay, so would you want to talk about that? Or because uh, I've got a, a different topic maybe? if you want to go on to uh, uh, Maybe a different topic. Okay, okay. My, my other topic then is, um, so we did a video, you, me, we had... Um, bears, we were doing the iPhone, yes, uh, yes, yes, the, the iPhone challenge, and that particular pitch is one of the most expensive, like square. Oh yeah, they they said. Can you explain what that was? So you hired out this pitch, and fortunately, you got it at a good price. Yeah, right. Yeah, it wasn't too but, bad, but the the um, they the actual they told us how much this place was uh, was worth. So it's the ground London, that it's on. Ground that's on. It's central London. Um, 
I can't remember what it's, it's, what's it called? The City of London. It's in the City of London, which is a small part um, uh, within London where there's a lot of financial stuff there. Um, and yeah, I mean, you're, you're, you're talking like around the Moorgate area. Yeah, it's called RAC or HAC. I can't remember which it's called, but it's basically like the only football pitch in like central, central London, yeah. um, north of the river. And they were like, how much do you reckon this place is? And we were like, I don't know, like it's, it's a football pitch, but then there's like a bit more open green space and there's sort of buildings around. Yeah, there's office buildings surrounding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it looks a bit castly as well. So it kind of yeah. looks like it's, uh, and we were like, I don't know, maybe like 50 mil, yeah. something like that. I, 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 when the geezer asked, I said, this place like 30 mil for yeah, this spot. Yeah, yeah. Um, what did they say? Two, three billion? Yeah, three billion three pounds billion. For, for, to, to, uh, for that land. Yeah. That if you, so if you were to dig up that <laughs> all that land and create a building you would have to pay three billion pounds i don't have that money i, I mean <laughs> I, well, I well, that's what i'd pay for the two hours i had it for you got three billion pounds <laughs> oh, mate non-copyrighted life is a good life <laughs> <sighs> jesus christ but that is that Wait. is an insane stat and i think it's yes. something to do with it belonging also like slightly to the army I, yeah i think so because yeah it, i mean i think it is called the royal artillery complex so mm. i think that's why it costs that much but um that's mental. It was though, okay. It was, it? It, was, it was. It wasn't three billion to rent, so it was all right. No, no, it was. Uh, but it was really cool because, like, the background. That's one of the biggest things with football pitches, at least when you're trying to make a really cool video. It always helps if the background looks really nice. Yeah. And this one, it was actually kind of cool because you just had office buildings in the yeah, background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one thing that I said would be really cool. We obviously did it during the time where uh, people weren't back in offices or anything mm -hmm. like that. But how cool would it be filming that and almost just having uh, a camera staring right at the office buildings? The yeah, getting the reactions. Getting the be reactions because cool. there would be loads of people just looking down on the football pitch. Uh -huh. yeah, and it's like, you know, let's say you wrap one top bins, someone is definitely looking. Yeah, oh, they're gonna like, go, oh, oh yeah. yeah. They get to see the special Christmas Eve knuckle. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Um, I, one, the thing I remember about that day is it was like obviously the first time I'd work, I'd hide out that so first contacts I've had with people. And like, we get there and within five, they're like, oh, there's like an apple shoot going on. Within five minutes, Harry gets out these big fuck off speakers and starts playing like R&B at a ridiculous <laughs> volume. And I'm just like, oh my God, like, no, my, my relationships are just going down the drain. But, and then yeah. we smashed a car window and- uh, Glass I think all over the pitch. Glass, we, but we said, to, we were like, do you want us to clear it up? And he was like, no, I'll just go over it with like the, the, uh, the lawnmower. It was like- yeah. Okay. And is, the, right, is the R and B still playing at this point? I like, don't know. <laughs> he actually did leave his speaker there, so yeah. I could have left it. But uh, the um, uh, yeah, like the, the groundskeeper said since that they've had some issues with it. But like I, I said, like like this is what's going to happen in the video. So yeah. are you okay with this? Yeah, and like you know, we sign sign the life away and everything. So hopefully they don't come back with like it a, is what it is. You plan on hiring just, that place? Just no out one again? play football on there anytime soon, please. Just don't goalkeep on that. No slide tackles. That. Yeah, no, no slide tackles anytime soon. Um, are, you, are you planning on renting that out again, or how come you haven't gone? Yeah, to that it's because cricket season, so you can't hire it out there. Oh, oh because it's used as a cricket pitch. Cricket season, man. What a sport. What a terrible sport. I, right? I, I, Rambo. Well, we what, did not say that. Cricket's quite fun to play, but to watch, it's so bad. Very boring. Yeah. Unless yeah. it's yeah. the like, like 2020, 2020 or the yeah. World Cup, you know, that obviously went in England. Yeah. Won, but like, it's so dull. Like, it's I so always dull. look at it and I think, where is, you know, and where is the enjoyment aspect? Like, I can't really, the what is, is, what's the, what's the interesting bit? No, no, no. In 2020, what happens is it's a much quicker game. So it actually gets wrapped yeah. up in a day. The problem is with test cricket, that can go on for like three days. Yeah. yeah and it does get a little bit like, you know, you're tuning in again. And there are like elements where, which are quite enjoyable, but the test, the 2020 is in my opinion, the format of cricket that really needs to be pushed because yeah, it's a lot I, more I digestible. And with the way the whole world works, look, we've all moved onto like TikTok, 15 seconds, yeah? So let's cut down cricket. Let's get that down to a day, 2020. And, and not only that, but you see these guys going for outrage. At, like they're trying to knock it for six. They're trying to absolutely slap these yeah. balls. And that's what you want to see. You want high intensity, high action, engaging sports to watch. And that's what 2020 cricket is. Yeah. Compared to the test three days, it's probably a bit more tactical. There's a, maybe you know a bit more class about it. But ultimately, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't have I don't have three days to dedicate no, to one game. Same. Imagine a game of football, mate, lasting thingy with unlimited subs or something. It would just be so it's so dry. Yeah. So listen here, cricket. If you're watching this, Mr. Cricket, <laughs> just understand 2020 is the way forward. Yep. So you, um, oh, just quickly, you picked up on TikTok there. Yeah. Um, for us, TikTok is terrible because I feel like anytime you say something controversial or you slip up yeah. or say something in yeah. a video, instantly so many people can see it now you yeah, know so true. like i feel like it's it's just a well trust me there's a lot of hot take, like yeah. the football takes on this will Are be outrageous. all over oh yes, all yes, 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 so yes. you start saying so much controversial 
stuff that the controversial. Oh, fuck me. Are you all right there, lad? How <laughs> is that drink going now? The okay? controversial stuff that you're saying becomes like you know, obviously like you you're saying so much bullshit every week on this yeah. podcast yeah. that now whatever people we just say, come to expect pe- it. People are just like, oh, that's just crimes. <laughs> like just yeah, saying his mind. But also because it's 15 seconds, there's no context whatsoever. So like you're no, it can go to 60. But yeah, even yeah, then, yeah, but yeah. even then, but they won't. Let's but face no, because it, it's funny. No, no, yeah, yeah. They, they did some it. of the stuff we've had on TikTok have got two mil views. The other day we had um, really, we had yeah. oh, we had man. one, uh, t- we had, we had one last pops. week. It was um, so what would it, what would it take to be a gorilla? I'm saying that if you had a sword, you could beat the gorilla. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. We've had <laughs> there's all, lots of yeah. bits of pieces. We've had um, how how do you, do you there's, masturbate? There's, Stood up, mate, sat if, down. If there's you versus a, if you and a sword versus a gorilla, there's no way. Okay, what about you and a sword then? I'd back myself more than. You. What? No, don't <laughs> give me that. Don't give me. Listen, there, there, there's not too much of a difference here. You know, you've got, got better center of gravity, maybe, and all that stuff. And he's probably more athletic, better looking. You know, I wouldn't r- more, back, successful. Ritual, more successful, more successful, uh, better, better personality, hair. Yeah, better yeah, hair, yeah, yeah. better got, eyebrows, nice eyes. Yeah, been with his girlfriend for longer. Yeah. Like, you know, the guys. But fucking, apart from that, the I've, guys are killer I've on got the streets. Nothing. Apart so. from the, all those things, you've got nothing. You've got everything. Oh, that was from the Jersey. Joke. That was the joke, you big wally. But, but honestly, I would. I'm not I, sure honestly, it was. Mate, it was. But even both of us against the gorilla, I would not back us. Both with sword. With a sword, two. Okay, Chris. two. Swords. Okay, okay. okay let's get this crazy, straight. Man, you got. You're, you're not thinking about chemistry, right? We've got a little bit of chemistry going on. We partner up. I I'm jump not off thinking about our nation. You, link. you bend I'm over. Thinking, <laughs> I jump off your back with the sword. Boom! It's like a film. Spider Man. We, we look at the camera and go gorilla, for Frodo. Yeah. And then I t- yeah, we turn to the camera for Frodo. Bang, gorilla, dead. There's no RSPCA. Way. There's no way. Say less. Say less. Wait, so do you actually genuinely believe the two of you with a sword each are packing no, in a gorilla? I, I don't think you obviously doubt. Chip, I don't think I could swing a sword hard enough to hurt a gorilla, and I don't think you could either. Well, I'll get you in gym, lad. But y- y- <laughs> 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 they don't have gorillas in the gym for you to practice. No, on. they don't do sword work for the gorillas. You tell me, don't practice Unless... swinging dumbbells around the gym. <laughs> I come into the gym next time as both of you there, just with dumbbells doing <laughs> yes. this. Yes, you've been going to the wrong gym. <laughs> oh my god! I think unless you got the right angle and it sort of fell on you with the sword, there's no way. There's no, no it's way. called virgin active for a reason, fella. Well, two, vir- <laughs> two virgins getting very active in a gym with a dumbbell attempting to slay a gorilla. Yeah, That's okay. exactly what I was thinking. Um, but other than that, London, uh, you've been hanging out. Well, you've been doing a lot more things. Uh, you've, uh, you have you came to the rooftop. There's just been, do you feel as though like moving to London is a good decision for a YouTuber? I, I think it's a good decision. Um, oh, this feels a bit harsh to say to all my Jersey friends, but I think it's a good decision socially and YouTube, just because, yeah. like I say, it's they just people suck. working on your own. <laughs> yeah, because they're <laughs> shit friends. <laughs> but like, just because people are working on your time and, and like you can actually do stuff during the day um, and you don't have literally the weekend to do stuff and yeah. that's it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, purely work-wise, it's just being able to film with anyone or like just being asked, to, like I would never, I would never be able to be on this yeah, podcast. Of course. Um, I would never be able to just like get phoned up and be like, oh, can you film this thing for a video? Is yeah, but Jersey's a great place. That's the problem because it does have its huge ups. Like Jersey is just so like safe, so nice. Yeah, like, it is so Where nice. we were, we were so like, we, we were, it, we couldn't have actually had more of a, a sort of a change because like where we were in Jersey, we were sort of in the countryside. Like we, we were far um, further out from town, as yeah. it's called in Jersey, than we meant to be. And so we were sort of surrounded by a lot of pensioners, a lot of like uh-huh. retired couples. And so it was not really where we wanted to be, but we had a big house where we could sort of film stuff in the yeah. garden that we were renting and stuff. So it kind of worked, but it couldn't have been more different coming to London. I, I now, feel like as well, obviously in Jersey, it's not, it's not the biggest place. So tomorrow it's going to be 30 degrees you'd probably be stepping out going to the beach yeah yeah, what, like that. So, yeah well, it's so nice it, it there isn't it great if i was in yeah. jersey really tomorrow <laughs> yeah so well my mum is well, i'm not even joking my mum is like she's like i want to go to jersey i want to go check woman. it out and i was literally there like yeah like it's probably all right but it is actually like in terms of activities and stuff when it's when the sun is shining it, and the, the weather summer, is nice class what do you Look, do it's just beach, beach barbecues yeah. every day because really? there's, there's so many nice beaches, so many nice places to eat and stuff. So like, I mean, on the beach, you can, you can do tons of stuff, you know, you can get jet skis. There's Have like you got a jet ski or is that like Harry? We did, I, we, Harry had one as well, but yeah. we had two for a few years, but there's just so much upkeep. Like, it's oh, like really? Yeah. 
Yeah. Right, I, so I got a grilling it, off Harry's is, mum, by the way, because in, in a W2S video once, she was like to me, make sure he wears a life jacket. Yeah. And we, and she leaves, and then as we're going, Harry's like, we don't need the life jackets. And I'm like, well, like now I'm going to look like the bad guy. And I'm not yeah. there, you know, like, no, Harry, on your channel, you're going to wear a life jacket. It's in uh -huh. Guernsey, so I'm not going to yeah. tell him. Yeah. And the next Sideman match, his mum's like, I trusted you, yeah. and you let my boy go out without a life jacket. <laughs> you were the chosen one. Yeah, and so Harry just films him going out without a life jacket. And I got grilled by... um. Trisha. But I've, I've had stories, me and Chip, I took Chip on the back of mine. No, no well, it wasn't me. So this, I'd never been on a jet ski before. And I was like, yo, come on a jet ski. And I, I hate the sea. So I was like, you know what? I could, no, 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 he's, no, on, no, he's on a, he's on a jet ski. Oh, a jet ski's the, fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't notice at the time, but I'm like, not really a fan of the sea. Because swimming, not all that, but deep water, it's not for me. Kyle's like, come on. I'm like, nah. So he takes JJ on. So he got on his jet ski and he got miles out. And I'm watching Kyle going, I'm like, so glad I didn't jump on that. Next thing you know, they've gotten, as, f as far as you're probably allowed, Carl's tipped the jet ski. So they tipped the jet ski and these dons are just floating there. The, 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 what happened? The so, captain had to come out and get you. No, no, no. So what happened was, no, 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 no. Listen. How are you all so useless? No, no, no. Because no, no, this, is, this is the worst part is the okay. geezer said, whatever you do, don't flip the jet ski. Yeah. Oh, yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I go, do I go that. flying off this thing. I'm catching mad air. But again, I didn't realize what it's like to have a hundred kg man on the back, okay. right? Yeah. We land, <laughs> we, we fell off. We fell off, yeah. but the jet ski was still there. It's fine. But what J JJ then does is he goes to try and get back on. And instead of going on from flips. the back oh, where no. you should, he just pulls down on the side. <laughs> and what does it, the jet ski flips on itself. Oh, okay. yeah, and now fast. the jet ski is completely upside down. Yep, the, yep, yep. The, the engine is getting like completely drained flooded, in water, flooded. 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 The captain comes out in his boat, losing Fucking his bro. mind he at me and JJ. So Cause we just wrecked an entire jet ski. <laughs> yeah. Because I was on the boat. I was on the, like the original <laughs> yacht when he'd seen what you'd done. Lost and it. And the Donny, you know, we got a Spanish Donny trying to speak like English and swearing. And I'm like, mm. oh my God, he is gonna go sick. sick. I was like, he was going so crazy. I was like, oh, this ain't gonna be nice. I'm just sat there, bev in my hand, vibing, enjoying life. These two flipped it. I was like, thank The God. guy lost it. Thank it the whole God. rest of the day was mad awkward with the and, captain. And not only that, but like, so I was thinking to myself, a cow would have flipped that if I was on there and they were actually out there in the water just wet miles out for like 15 minutes floating yeah. I would have that would really, have been your worst nightmare I would have really had a bad time there wow. so anyways we, we actually uh, obviously you've been on the side of uh, getting grilled by people yeah. we were actually on the other side where we were the people that made someone get grilled because there was this guy in Jersey just basically like so you've got a couple of types of jet skis um, and there's yep. some that use oh, I can't remember this type of engine that they've got but they're basically just really loud right. and like um, we were sat there was me, Shan and like Shan's um, papa, her grandpa yeah. and um, we there's this guy that's literally like you could hear it miles and miles away so we were like we'll just we'll just phone up the heart oh no not like, some Karen oh, shit you like sorry mate Chris. Um, no Chris someone's Chris. just been outrageously noisy and disrupting the peace with his jet ski. Can you uh, sort him out, please? And they were press? like, yeah, all right, mate, whatever. You and press, I was like, it's Chris and D, by the way, and they're like, yeah, all right. So, yeah. Yeah. No so, way. And um, um, did the noise disappear? It did. Was it was it that but loud? It, it, mate, it was outrageous. Like, you could hear it from, like, literally, like, True. three that, miles that would, away. That would stupid. do my head in, to be fair. You do, you do love a Karen moment, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you I are. Do. You are. Um, but anyways, yeah, those, those, are, those are the fun jet ski stories. Now, Jersey, I, I, I be, we went over to Jersey for your birthday. I think it was mm. a few years ago. Was your birthday? Yeah, 21st. Yeah, yeah. And, your birthday. Um, that was cool. JJ was meant to be playing at Weekender this year. Um, which, which is a festival sick. in Jersey. Yeah, but I think COVID might stop that, unfortunately. So, But that, you know, I, I don't know what we do because there's no way that us lot could go over there and just be, be fine in the festival. But yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, Jersey's got a lot of cool shit, man. I've, I it actually, has, it has. I, I'm not gonna lie. I watched one episode of this. Um, what's that big? What's the reality show? It's like Desperate Housewife. Oh, what the, the, the Desperate Housewives of Jersey. Yeah, That's they did it. that. Oh, that, they, they did a Jersey. That, they did a Jersey, one. and everyone, every, mate, it was it was up in arms. The community was fuming. So to like, give a bit of context to it, just, yeah, they were to give just a bit outrageous. of context to to the series, it's essentially wealthy people of Jersey. Yes. Um, sorry, wealthy wives and, of Jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just your classic, like. Yes. Um, just a gossip and you know all that sort of stuff but it's a reality tv show yeah. uh, and how did that go like what's that how was that received in Jersey? are these people that actually like oh my god it's thingy from desperate housewives or whatever it's called or i mean i think it's the same anywhere they just pick like the most obnoxious like karens that they yeah. possibly can and then just like stick them all together so everyone was like we're kind of annoyed that this is how people are now going to see jersey, jersey. yeah 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 but yeah. like, but you know, like so, so like uh, when you know they do go on i'm assuming they do get like a little bit of money 
Um, but obviously Probably. in Jersey, it's but quite, they just chase the fame. It's not, bro. it's not like it's not a wealthy place. Like, are they is they chasing fame there? They're getting paid a good amount. No, bro, the money will be nothing. You have to understand these are, are minted. But the thing is, right? This, That's this why is they're it. in Jersey. Yeah, yeah. Dodging tax. Like, I know Jersey that. I know that if my mother people. got asked to go on that, it, it, she won't go on it for. a There'll be it needs to be a lot of money. No, 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 but that's the thing. So but what it's happens always is a certain type no, of no, no, person. No, 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 no. Right? What happens is rich people want to be famous. Yeah. Famous people want to be rich. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right? That's very so true. so these rich people, right, okay, great, they're rich, but ultimately to to them, what the fuck is that worth? They already they, they got their, their yacht. What yeah. what's the point? They're eating in nice places Get already. Bored already. They're bored, yeah. right? So what's the next step? They want to be famous. How yeah. do they get famous? A TV show comes to them and says, We're doing this, you have a great uh, character and personality for it. Will you do it? I'll be surprised if they get paid even a, a, a penny, drop right. of water compared yeah. to what they already have okay in the so so yeah. the people that the you know the housewives that are on this show in jersey um obviously these they do these shows in america and they're always like super like so exaggerated so bougie so hollywood in jersey i can't imagine that so what nah, are they like? it kind of is bro. what are they like what well, jersey like you, you've got kind of two different they've got like normal people in jersey yep. and then you do have these people that are just incredibly like quite often um i don't know if you're out in a bar in jersey or like a club uh they'll be like sectioned off bits with people you know like vip really? sections and like just you meet some assholes in jersey like really? like it's just because it's just kind of privileged people you know like yeah. the, the the ones that are like that they're just like rich and really privileged yeah. and and obnoxious so, about it yes yes so you do have a, a sort of a nice mix of those yeah <laughs> yeah 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 yeah, yeah. That's so interesting. I, w I watched that show and I was there like, I can't, this is a, insane. And just like the kids are kind of the same and it's just there yeah. like, yeah. yeah, oh mate. I need to check this out. I'm actually quite intrigued to yeah, see like, where Chris is from. Chris's roots, you know. No, that's <laughs> no, it's okay, Chris. Yeah. I we understand. Well, these are your people. are on season three, so. <laughs> oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! Guys, here today we've got the Dixons. <laughs> you walk in, all you can hear is a fucking chihuahua barking. Chris, we, shut we the fuck up recording. We don't have a, oh, I want to no, see all this. You've got a cat though. Yeah, but my parents hated cats, so we didn't have a cat. We used to have we used to have a um a corn snake, and oh, it um but but corn it, it, so it grew over already. six feet long. So we had the snake. What for, you had a snake that was over six feet long we, chilling we, in your gaff. We had a snake for ten years, and it was. I a corn had a hamster, snake. by the way. All right, and then it grew to over six feet long, and uh, it like so. This was like you know the the family pet. It was we were emotionally attached to it, and then one day it died. And it was there, like in the cage, and we were like, "Oh, like we've we've we we had hamsters too, so we buried a few hamsters in the garden and stuff." We like we don't really we've got enough space for it. And then one day, I just saw my dad walking out with a with a bin bag to the bin with something in it. And it turns out he just taken the six foot snake, no burial or anything, been in the family for ten years, and just dropped it in the bin. What? It's like that's outrageous, isn't it? Good man, good, 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 good man. Done the world a favor. Set a lighter and so, just burns it as well. No, he wait, didn't really no, okay. no, I was he about to say that, that would have been epic. Um, but yeah, how sad is that? You know, you have a family, whatever it is, a family so pet for just, ten years, did, straight in the bin. Did the snake die, die or did he kill the snake? No, he didn't kill the snake. He didn't kill the snake. No, the snake just the snake died, just of, died natural of natural causes. It had a long, happy life. Your dad so wanted rid of such that a, fucking snake. Such a Although, to be fair, he was feeding, we used to feed it with mice, and like, you'd feed it with dead mice, but you'd like sort of shake them. Yo, so you it, Jersey it dogs sort of, like, so sort of, like, play a game with it. Yeah, yeah, to like keep it interested, you know? And um, one time it missed the snake, got my dad's hand instead. And he's like, but like, yeah. Oh so my God. Maybe there was some beef there that never yeah. been resolved yeah. until he chucked in a bin. Every time he sees it, it's like, I'm gonna fucking- fuck Yeah, one day you're getting put in a bin yeah. bag, son. I'll spark you out constantly. I was actually gonna say, I don't know where this topic came into my head, but um, moving on to the fortress in Jersey, um, yeah. because that was fairly close to where I used to live. And- um, Just so people know, like, this is your football ground. Yeah, sorry, the, yes, yeah. The, the football ground that um, I used to film all my videos yeah. on, and, and capacity, still will in the future, it's just COVID makes it very difficult. Well. Capacity, or Plus thirty we're, plus some yeah, days. We were, That's doing, huge. we were doing numbers at the fortress. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 30, thirty plus if you include the dogs as well. Yeah. it was big. But yeah, we uh, that that was always like the pitch that I played on as a kid. Um, and uh, so for a while we used to have loads of kids going there to the restaurant, uh, not the restaurant, sorry, the cafe. The, 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 so basically there was the stand that you could watch the games from. No one ever used to. It boxes. A, it, uh, the, <laughs> the VIP boxes, um, and you could get burgers. You know, you know, just yeah. like just like the Emirates, um, just like <laughs> yeah. So like definitely louder than the Emirates. Yeah, yeah, certainly. Yeah. Uh, probably is actually, um, and uh, <laughs> we'd have um a cafe up there so like you, it was class because you just go and get like bugs at half time and yeah. things outrageous but, prices are about 10 quid a pint yeah something like that that's jersey though isn't it yeah. uh, and then so we'd have loads of kids going to this cafe and being like chris md films on here like do you know like do you know about him do you know like where he lives and stuff like this um 
And like after a while, the guy that ran the cafe was like, is there anything we can put up there to like sort of just say a bit about you or something? Because I'm getting so many kids coming here. Really? Like, the, the people just come on holiday to, used to come on holiday to Jersey and just go to the pitch and like go to the what? cafe and be like, it's just Chris live around here and stuff. Uh-huh. Um, and so one of the Wembley Cup games, uh, I think it was the 2017 one. It's like <laughs> the shirt wasn't that nice. And I was like, you know what? It'd be really cool to just have like a Chris MD shirt just like subtly up in the corner. Um, and we had like uh, a thing just like saying below it, um, you know, just like this was from a, a Wembley Cup match. Stephen Gerrard yeah, yeah, played. Yeah, da, da, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and the football pitch here is like where Chris MD films, films his videos. videos. Oh um, mate, that's like being a local fucking it, it, hero. Yeah, that's, 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 that's different. Real, but the man. problem is the owner of that place has just changed and so now I'm just imagining this like this woman who's taken it over just looking at this shirt being like who the fuck is thinks it? that this guy like owns the place like <laughs> what the hell so I reckon she's just taken it and just chucked it to in the bin fair, like, mate, she must have yeah, done something have, have with you it. been wait is it I, not there I haven't been there but I can't imagine it stays up you know no, if but anyone in Jersey history, man. bro if history. anyone in Jersey can you please go and see yeah, if Chris MD's know. jersey is still on the wall and if not Vandalite. No, don't. No. What? <laughs> no. Just kick the shit out. Of <laughs> That's such a. But it, it, it's true though. Like, I, I, well, I can't believe that people would go over there and. Well, I suppose you know, if I was a young lad in, in and you were going to Jersey, the, the, the football videos were popping. They well. were. Like it was. Yeah. It, it, quite often as well. And like, it, it did get quite difficult because people like you could basically quite easily work out where I lived, and it was. We uh-huh. get quite a lot of people. Did you get people coming going to your gaff? Yeah, like a lot. Really? Um, and it was my parents were teachers as well, so like they couldn't really just be like, fuck off, yeah, <laughs> slam yeah, the door yeah. in some kid's face. They'd be like, Mr. Dixon, <laughs> slam. Um, but like, <laughs> it was quite difficult for a while. But uh, after that, yeah. it was, uh, you know, moving to London. <laughs> it's A OK. Yeah, for, for, now. Now. For, for now. For now. Um, but you do actually, you went and bought a place up in the Lake District. Yeah, we did. Yeah. And, um, yeah, that's really nice. It's just like a little retreat um, going up to the lakes. We've always gone there for, hopefully we've got a, we got a boys trip going. And yeah, yeah. I think a boys and girls trip. They're going to go and uh, yeah. stay in the flat and we're going to go camping. camping, which will be way more fun. I like the idea of just the boys. Um, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm scared though, because like- Wait, you do know, you know, do you, Are you a camper? Kid? Yeah, yeah, I am. But you know, the in-between is camping trip. Like I feel like it's just going to be like that. It's going to be, oh, I oh hope mate, so. mate, it's going to be a shit show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think it, I think it'll be. Fun. We'll end up sleeping on the. You've, side you've just got to choose the right day because, like, if you got camping in the rain, is the worst thing in the world, you know. Oh it, yeah, it adds an element of excitement. Stuff. I've, I've been camping a few times back in the day, and whenever it would rain, even if you set up your tent pretty well, like unless it's like super expensive, it, it does normally seep in. Really, and you just you used to sat- go camping with your uncle. Oh no, but. <laughs> That's so crazy you said that so because that's exactly who I used really? to be. Oh, yeah, whoa. yeah, yeah, hundred percent. And your uncle, your yeah, uncle and the, sto- nuts and or the stories are all true. Really? What? Yeah, yeah. You what? always have a good time camping with your uncle. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. Marshall. You had a lot stories. of pleasure. Pleasure. Well, you were going camping. Well, with your uncle. Are, are you bringing the same tent with, with the stains on the wall, or is it different? Oh, what? It rains. It's rained on stain, fella. But anyway, yeah, you'd have a great time. Unless <laughs> uh, yeah. Imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, well, I mean, you've told me a lot of really good stories about your uncle. Hundred percent. Ten years old, I was getting absolutely hammered on the beer. <laughs> on the beer. Yeah, yeah good man. No I know what you're like. Um, That's not legal, by the way. So that was a joke. <laughs> well, on the beer. No, of course you were never getting hammered if, on the beer. If, if, if you can. It was a dream, brother. <laughs> was a dream. <laughs> if someone can make a TikTok of that and just stop it. And before the oh no, Vita Sals will be right on that. Uncle will be messaging me like, "Hey, what the fuck are you saying, you little shit?" <laughs> <laughs> nothing chief but nothing. No, but and honestly g- like going for a little walk up like a i mean the kind of mountain one of the mountains where's like, your uncle uh, yeah, well uh, going up for a little walk and then like having a meal at the end you know nice. like going to like a pub or something yeah or, but i guess if we'd be camping no, just, you know, go, but honestly so that so sounds good. very nice no in i am looking forward to it sick because you can like swim in the pools and stuff go like up a little oh, yeah. stream and stuff it's very so picturesque different. up there as well it is it? really really nice yeah I could Love do with a new Instagram pic. My last one was volleyball. How long ago was that? Yeah, that was too long. You, oh, need, you, need, you need something hot and fresh. Anyway, speaking of hot and fresh, guys, uh, we have a brand new segment of the podcast. Ah, and it Jesus. is called... I it thought you were going to announce the fellas' bakery. Hot and fresh? <laughs> Wow. I would be so down for a bakery. That would be such that that would get so many more people on your podcast. You know, what, what if, if we just a had a bakery? bakery? Just like whacked well, up. Well, I mean, we do buns. need we do need new set ideas for the fellas season two. So, if you've got anything going about right now, well, we we, we don't. So, um, here we go. Okay, <laughs> um, right, we have got uh, a, a a part to this podcast that we've recently uh, started. It's called Fact or Cap, and it's fantastic, by the way. Okay. So, okay. And cap means a lie. Yeah, so, you have, so to, yeah. you have to say, is this thing a true, true or lie? True or false? Understood. Okay. McDonald's once made bubble gum that was flavored broccoli. 
Fact or cap? That's good. Uh, I'd, I'd say cap. I think that's outrageous. I would also say cap. That I think broccoli's like too far. There's no way. Yeah. Like, like, look, McDonald's, right? Look at the food they make. They wouldn't even sell they anything. They wouldn't go They wouldn't sell anything sticks. remotely close yeah. to, like, yeah. carrot sticks if, is if, if the, you want, the yeah. best will get. If you want to get anything healthy, you go down to, like, size. Yeah. You have to click it, like, extras. Yeah. And yeah. then, you know, there's no way. There's no, there's way. no way. I'm with Chris and I. That's cap. It's got to be cap. Okay. Well, that is, in fact, a fact. They did make... Uh, broccoli flavored bubblegum wow. at one point. Surely yeah. that's like to get past the quota of a certain amount of healthy things yeah. on their menu. And yeah, like, we'll like, just stick like the government's just going to say flavored. too much sugar in this shit, and they've gone, oh, that's not a problem. <laughs> yeah. We've got bro- broccoli, broccoli flavored flavor. gum, by the way. Okay, here we go. So, right for Brits, you know. <laughs> um, here we go. Uh, tortoise shells are in fact bulletproof now there's a little star Ooh. next to this because it says armadillo shells are but not the tortoise shells okay right right can i just explain something yet yeah? uh bts alex with his absolute monster mind yeah has gone and put a star next to it as it, like who puts a star next to it and then just puts a star underneath it and says this like armadillo shells are so armadillo shells are actually bulletproof so that's i was cool. gonna say they were uh, bulletproof who's so. tried that yeah <laughs> who's gonna take it a gun to the shell and gone I oh, like that. I need to figure something That's out. That's critical yeah. thinking right there. We gotta I mean, get you the hope that they've waited for the animal to die peacefully yeah. after a happy life. Or maybe they just took the shell off. Maybe they just took the shell off. Probably in the entertainment industry, you don't wait for those types of things. Oh, no, so no, no, no. It definitely it. happened in Florida. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I Flo- feel like Florida, Florida man shoots fucking tortoises. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. totally legal. Yeah. Them in the end. <laughs> you can actually, Turns out they actually provide free tortoises with the guns when you buy them. Yeah. All right. Well, that one was a that one was a waste of time. Yeah. Uh, okay. Right. No, that's good because you've done this in a completely different format to the last one. So sound for that. Um, here we go. Um, <coughs> a cross between a cow and a bison is called a beefalo. Cat. It's got to be 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 cat because that sounds like a Five Guys new burger. <laughs> a beefalo. Maybe yeah. it is. Yeah. Oh, well, you know what? I'd fucking try a beefalo. Well, you probably could because it is, in fact, a fact. What? Well, so there you go. <laughs> this ain't going very well. Yeah, uh, a, a beefalo. That's quite good. All right, here we go. Uh, Chicago is named the Windy City because of its windy weather from being so close to the river. True or false? Um, wow, these are... I mean, this is this is some content, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, look, look. Unfortunately, we have to deal with BTS Alex here. No, he I loves mean, a phone. Wait, say that one, no, 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 one it's, more it's, time. Mate, it's, Chicago is named the Windy City because of its windy weather from being so close to the river. Jesus, what about London then? Got river going through the whole thing. We're not the Windy City. Right then, so I swear is it something's true called the Windy City. I would say that that is cat. What, what, but I swear some, some place is called the Windy City. Do you, yeah, know, and it, do you know where that is? If it's not, it could be. You are asking be. a man that only just figured out that Australia did have a smaller surface area than the moon last time. Yes. <laughs> I do we not, know my, ge- I do not know my geography, Chris. So do not ask me about cities or countries or just anything like to do with the world. That's outrageous. Yeah. I actually don't know how big the moon is. Well, the way he the phrased Earth. it, fella, was very. How big is the listen, moon in relation listen, to the Earth? This so. man had me on string. A fourth. He phrased it like. Really? Well, that's actually yeah, bigger than I thought. It was very yeah. well done from Carl. Trust me. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. I did. Try and he always it. gives you these weird eyes, like. Shall we skip the Chicago one because honestly, that I, was I one think, of the worst I think things. Well, I said cap. I said cap, but you said true. I think it's true. Okay, well, it is cap actually. Mega cap. Here we go. This is a good one. Firefighters have a way to make water wetter. Hmm, I've done some crazy shit in my time, so I'm gonna say it's true. You think that firefighters can make can can make water wet? You ain't seen the shit I've done in a bath. It's true. What are you? What are you alluding to, mate? What is going on? Guys, 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 guys. Um, Kids watching. I I think that's that's cap. You would say that's cap, and you're saying that's true, Chip. Stop with the laugh as you say that. No, you it want to change. no wait, Stop let me, making let me noises like let, that. Let, let me reread it out. So just so you fully understand what I'm saying. You just okay? said I don't like you don't know what I used to do in the bath. And exactly, then exactly. Of the water you. gets wetter. Um, firefighters have a way to make water wetter. Yes, Chip. True. It sounds such. It sounds like it's such. It sounds like such shit that it's one of those where you say cap and then you go it's true. But if do I you say, know what actually no I, I think it's true I think it's true. 
That's yeah. what I mean. And Cal why? always brings up these stupid Because ones. it would help if it was possible, you know? So I can. So you think water can be wetter? I, d I don't think wetter, but I but think. But no, but like, that's what I'm saying. That, that, uh, literally, I'm saying fire fires have a way to make water wetter. I think. <laughs> but it depends what you mean. Like, if you mean wetter by, like. Uh, you know, yeah, but if it could like cool fires quicker, you know, and it doesn't no, evaporate no, 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 it's wetter. Wetter. Okay, no, I don't. No, no, it's that's a cap. It's I'll cap. give you money. Here we go. What do you want? Quickly, true or false? Uh, uh, Chris, what did you go with? He cap. went with cap. Oh, I'd rather look like an idiot with him. Cap. Cap. It is in fact true. Oh, Fuck, Chris. I true. said, I said, and your 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 stupidity Mate, he gave me the has eyes. rubbed off I on me. I know what you mean now. He gave me I the told eyes. you he does this. Yeah, He's he a does. Okay, and fuck. let me give you guys goes, some reasoning. You think they can make water yeah. wetter? <laughs> You yeah, you're such a, you make it worse, man. You're making us change our answers. <laughs> okay, here, um, the reason why it's true is you, they use something called a wetting agent. Oh, oh, I knew oh, that. That. oh that makes oh. it all make sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, um, and last but not least, the CIA uh, headquarters has its own Starbucks. True. 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 Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Fact. Yeah. 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 That is, in fact, fat. They got yeah, their own Starbucks. Mate, right. they've got Starbucks in Job schools in America, so I'm really not surprised. Really? Yeah. They got, um, I, I think I saw a TikTok where they're walking around a school cafeteria. You got Subway, KFC. That's outrageous. I think it was like We, we weren't allowed chips at our yeah, school. Yeah, no, we had Dolphin no Diner, mate. Zero chips. I used to yeah. have beans and rice for dinner. Oh. <laughs> Nothing wrong with beans and rice. I quite like beans. No, yeah. I had braces. Everything else used to get stuck in there. So I was like, <laughs> I got to didn't let it like. She was like, what do you, what do you Wait, got? And I was like, beans and rice. Mate, again? Your parents had you. You didn't have to eat beans and rice, and that was it. Bella, I was spending the rest of the money at home bargains, getting fucking stocking to sell and flip. Yeah, I was a mogul, property mogul. Yeah, you're out here making videos at the fortress. I was out here flipping cans of Fanta. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, now moving on, we've done facts, I cap. Uh, we're moving on to relationship advice. As you know, this is how we usually wind yeah, we, down the we, podcast. We've ruined a yes. lot of relationships here, Chris. So yeah. do you want to wow. go ahead? Now, and make... Chris, uh, how long have you been with Shannon for? Um, I've been with Shannon for four Too and long. a half years. Now. Four and a half years. Can we get a round of applause, please? That Thank is you. fantastic. Respect now, to that. Thank you. Um, I will tell you that people do tend to move to London and the relationship goes to absolute shit. So I hope that you guys have got the bond that you well, need. Well, let's hope. Yeah. Let's hope. Well, anyways, we have got a fella here. Everything's anonymous. So if you would like to just give him a name. Okay, uh, let's call him David. David, okay. Um, David <laughs> says, hi lads, need some advice. I've got reliable information that my ex is being cheated on by her current partner. Okay, me and her don't really talk anymore, but left everything on good terms. I don't want to tell her and make uh, and make it seem like I'm a jealous ex, but I don't hate the girl and feel like she deserves the respect of being told. What do you do? This is an wow. interesting one, actually. I believe that's our guest here, Chris and yeah. B. The big what would MD. you do? I would tell her because I think if, I mean, you've got to be certain, yes. I would say. You've got to be certain. Yeah, I don't you think do. you can have like, yes, there's reliable information, but I would be certain to yeah. go and say, but I think go for it yeah. because- You I need think, a good sauce. Yeah, and I think people that cheat on other people without telling like, it's just yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, it? it's so got they be deserve done. it. So I'll, I'll, I, I agree with that. that. I would agree with that. One, oh, first thing is you have to make sure that you are 100% spot on because let me tell you, if you end up being wrong, you are the biggest mug going. Yeah? Yes, I'll be um, very embarrassing. And not only that, but when you send a message like, hey, no, we don't chat anymore, but just wanted to give you a heads up, saw this, um, hope you're doing well, and then just leave it at that. <laughs> what are you up at two at the weekend? <laughs> like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, by the way, your boyfriend's cheating on you and I'm free this weekend <laughs> if you want to go for a drink. Yeah. You have to make sure that it doesn't sound like that at all. Or exactly. That's dreadful. Um, for sure. Okay, now we've got a Felita. What would you like to call her? Um, let's go with Sarah. Sarah. Okay, I love it. This is why Chris is great. It's just original names and stuff. Um, here we go. I've recently started a friends with benefits with a guy I've become pretty close with. However, Good it job. seems as though what we have going on is leaning a bit more towards a relationship with us chatting about doing things other than hooking up and even going camping together. Kind of like us, guys. Oh, that's nice. Kind of wow. like us. Yeah, okay. um, I, like I really enjoy lot. being friends with him and hooking up, but I'm not sure if a relationship is what I want. Any advice? So she feels that things are just leaning a bit more on the relationship side and she needs to wheel that back in to make yeah. sure it doesn't go too far. Why, she don't want that? No, she doesn't. That's what she said. She I, said, I'm not sure I want a relationship. I always found that a bit, I always found people that just had, um, yeah, friends with benefits, just a bit weird because it's like, unless you're, if you're actually going out and trying to find someone that you actually want to spend time with, then yeah. fair enough. But if you're just wasting your life with someone that you know you don't want to spend time with, it's that's like, strange. you can get both, you know, like that's not, <laughs> you've done something seriously wrong here. So Interesting. I I've never really understood it unless you're just like, 
you know, it's just like a period yeah. of time where you're well, like, I don't it's, it's, like, Some people just love to go out and like sleep with other people, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. They love to have the opportunity to be like, I can go and sleep with you or I can go to a festival and get done up in some tent. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, like true. they yeah. love, some people love that freedom, the right? Options. So I guess that's why options, yeah. So I guess that is why that is still a thing. Listen, all right, Sarah. So, I mean, what I would personally say is, Tough first one. of all, don't go camping together because that's a relationship style move. And yes. and, and you literally Big go, time. I would literally reply. If he's there like, oh, let's go camping or whatever. You reply with, uh, nah, I, wa I want to keep yeah. this what it is right now. Um, hope you understand. And really just lay out to him straight yes. up. Like, honestly, just telling people yeah. what the situation yeah. is in a relationship is just like, True. so many Infinitely people, better. you just see just wasting their lives being like, oh, what, 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 what is she thinking? What's Never communicate, just, right? Just tell yeah. them. It's like, no. just enjoy your life 100%. and don't spend your time just guessing what people are thinking. 100%. You know? Also, Silly. like watching a man set up a tent on his own, gonna <laughs> Again, set, that's going to give it, that's going to make a feel- references to you and your uncle's trips here. <laughs> I will not speak no it's more. It's like, you know, um, what's the name of that show? Don't. Gavin and Stacey, where they always talk about the fishing trip. Anyone I, watch I've, that? I've only seen a few episodes of that. Oh, I'm not it's quite, unbelievable. I'm, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit too young for that fella, but yeah. All right, here we go. So this next one is a fella. Name? Go on, mix it up. Give me some exotic. Yeah, give me some out. Yeah. Benedict. Oh, I like. Strange. I've just spat everywhere, but yeah. I like that. Um, hey boys, love the pod. Uh, the perfect duo, honestly, but I have a dilemma here. It's almost like he's uh, moving to us, to be honest. Um, so I've been dating my bird for about eight, eight months now. And well, the porking comes with it. Everything is good and You'd all. Hope so. <laughs> you really would hope so. No, you? but here's the kicker. Here's the, the kicker. The phrase porking is one of the best Phenomenal. in the human language. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah, well, it comes from the everyone, first. Lo everyone loves a porking. It's trademarks as well. Um, so, but No. <laughs> Uh, Benedict has got a big problem here, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Yeah, go on. Yes, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> it's me and Chris continue. is waffling sorry, shit. Sorry, yeah. Benedict's got a big problem. He says, you know, the big porking is fine. Moo. Right? He says, but the head game is terrible. Oh, oh, no. He says, sometimes it's more painful than pleasurable. What? Oh, she doing what a teeth is the teeth it? are getting e all up in that. But he yeah. said, my question for you love gurus, uh, I wouldn't quite give us that title, but regardless, we're here to help you, is how do I relay the message of I step that throat game up? <laughs> to, <laughs> step to, that throat game up. So he said, without sounding like a complete dick. Mm -hmm. um, appreciate what you guys do, love. That's a tough one, really. Tough <sighs> conversation to have because there's no way that yeah. you can't get offended. Girl, the neck is not the gnarliest. <laughs> <laughs> like, girl, girl, that throat game is not goated. That throat game yeah. not busted, baby. <laughs> yeah, bro. No, again, it's what Chris goes uh, said earlier, I think, on a serious note. Right, when she's, go when she's going down, to so first of all, you got to be like, right, okay, this shit's about to go down. So when she starts doing it, just let her know. Okay. Say, yeah, just yeah, tell yeah. her, less teeth. Yeah. It's, it's got to be the right time yeah. to talk to her about yeah. it because, but again, like there's no future in this relationship really. If it, it doesn't, it, like, if it continues like bro, that. Bro, if the throw game more, more ain't annoyed, good, yeah. then it's done for. But I agree with you. I, just in general with, with things like that, you have to talk about it yeah. or it's it's, it's, it will stay like that forever. Because put it this way, lad, if uh, put, uh, put yourself in her shoes, let's say you, uh, you're going down and, and, you and you're yamming yeah, the fish well. market, right? Okay. okay. Um, and so, yeah, he's going Being down on the fish. Being a little batters. <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> um, and <laughs> and, and you're, doing it, you're doing it all all wrong, right? You would want, you would prefer You'd want it. you to know, of yeah. course, yes. Instead of her, instead of her messaging into a, the fellows. <laughs> and being like, by the way, he he's so bad at yes. yamming up my fish market, right? <laughs> So what Billingsgate? <laughs> the Billingsgate market, the 4 a.m. special. 4 a.m. Oh shit. So yeah, look, look, man. Honestly, she's about to go down. Let her, let her make the mistake one or two times, and then just tell her really nicely, like, no more teeth, <laughs> no more teeth, right? Or, or you just gotta say, you, I'm gonna need to see more. It might not even be a teeth problem. Maybe you just say like, I need to see more enthusiasm, and, and like almost like a coach before a football game. I'm trying to see tenacity. Yeah, I, I want to see. Yeah. Yeah, First challenge is everything. Yeah. So when you get in there, you get stuck in, yeah? And don't look back. Yeah. Or you just wait until she bites your penis off and then problem solved, never again. That'd oh, that's true, actually. It's such an inconvenience though, having no penis. Yeah. Do you know what? I, I've, yeah, like I'm interested to know what happens when people, you know, like um, Reek in Game of Thrones when he has no penis. It's just I like, don't want to know. It's touch wood that we all you keep know? our penises yeah. close. Hopefully the boys can hold on to their pieces. Yes. Yeah. Um, Alex yeah. actually has a story about the time he snapped his banjo string, but we'll get into that another time. Um, all right, guys, here we go. And uh, the fe this fella's name is? Uh, Rodrigo. 
Rodrigo. Oh, this actually might work quite wow. well with this story I like that uh, because he said looking uh, for some advice uh, from the most top-notch porkers in the game. Uh, I have just received a scholarship for my athletic capabilities in the U.S. Congratulations, fella! Um, and it's been getting through to me as well as the girl. Oh, okay, so it's been it's been going around the circle, and the girls have found out I'm about gonna his test athletic. Myself, but keep going. Yeah, after this one, lad. Um, this, uh, this really fit girl that uh, is really interested in me and I really like her has found out. We started to pork um, and all sorts until the question came up about us, you know, being together. The what are we question, yeah. right? She didn't want to just keep porking and wanted a relationship and didn't want me to leave. I really like her, but have trouble saying goodbye to my dreams and aspirations. This has been bad on me and has been influencing my athletic performances in a negative way. I don't know what to do and would really like your help. Easy one, Miss Chris. I, I mean, there's that thing about um, not having sex before you have like a big performance, isn't there? Yes. And you know- I heard that's waffle though. Yeah, and the Sidemen match in 2017 is proof of that. Uh, but <laughs> What was the score? A lot of mercy. Uh, no, I can't remember. But like, <laughs> I've I've heard that's waffle as well. But like, I swear yeah. people do actually say that that's a thing. It actually is. Um, but this guy, she, she's essentially hitting him with the "What are we?" He knows yes. that he's like he wants to go and chase his athletic dreams. But also, he actually really likes his chick. He's got a dilemma on his hands, Chris. How does he solve it? Chip over to you. He bends her off. Yes. Basically, facts. career comes first, boy. You are a young man. You yeah. uh, probably you need to if you if it's an athletic career that you're trying to pursue, you need to make sure that you focus those right years on it. Yeah. You can't get to 28 and and then be like, oh, I want to pursue it again because you're done. Then yeah. you're washed up. You need to do it when you're like that prime age and go for it. And literally tell us straight up, say, I'm, look, uh, I really like you. Just explain the entire situation and be like, but at my age right now, I've got to go and pursue my career because I promise yeah. you, lad. The statistically as well, the chances of you being with that girl in five years if you kept yeah. along with the relationship mm. is actually very low yeah. so to be honest mate sack her off go, go to college do your scholarship whatever it is you'll probably pork a bunch of birds when you're out there anyways and who knows maybe after the five years or whatever it is that you're at college for uh, and you still go damn I miss, I miss that one chick and, and guess what she, she's single or whatever then go and hit her up again but right yeah. now bro if, if it was that special then you know she might be free in five years you she'll know? be waiting yeah exactly yeah. And then if it's you, meant to be it's meant to be yeah if she's married you know it's, it's still not out of the question it, you know you can give it a go nowadays it's, yeah, exactly. you're one Instagram DM yeah. away really well, to be fair yeah How, what's the percentage yeah. these days maybe we'll all turn up to the divorce. fucking wedding together it is uh, it's like marriages 50, right? yeah it's 50 well it's 50% uh, around there for uh, yeah, m chances of you divorcing someone that you marry. But me and Chip did want to bring up like a potential stat here is how many of those marriages happened before the age of 25. Uh, because yeah. I imagine if you get married before the age of 25, the chances are probably e way less or yeah. probably like 20% that you're gonna stay married to them. But. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, all that wonderful relationship advice. I'm sure Chris, you have healed a lot of relationships, helped a lot of people in the right direction. So God bless you. Yeah. And not only that, but we have actually had to wrap this up because we are bursting to not only get to the toilet, but also um, to go back. I think we've got uh, Portugal, Hungary uh, on tonight. And then not only that, but maybe one of the biggest fixtures we might see all Euros, which is in fact, um, Germany versus France. Uh, Actually, Portugal, Hungary was 3-3 in the last Euros, I think. Wait, really? World Cup. It was 3-3 because Ronaldo scored two, had to bring it back, so big game. Yes. But now they've, got, quick, now quick they've got Prime Bruno. What, oh, sorry? Now they've got Prime Bruno. Yeah. Uh, guys, I want quick predictions. It just scores uh, France, Germany, quick. France, Germany, I will go 2-0 France. 2-0 France, where are you going? 1-0 Germany. I'm gonna go 2-1 France. So, and, and habits of Werner to score. Uh, neither. Um, anyways, guys, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Again, much love to Chris for coming on and waffling absolute bollocks with us. Yep. Um, Fantastic. And Thank if you guys so haven't already, then go ahead and watch us on Spotify. Even if you watch us on YouTube, go over to Spotify, hit follow. Same with our Apple Music. Go ahead and check that out. And then not only that, but if you'd like to leave a comment just about something, because we'd, we'd like to read the comments. So just comment, bro. Just even if it's a... Uh, yeah. Yo. And yeah. we take a yo. Yeah, I'll take a yo. Uh, and always, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, so you can uh, stay tuned in for everything. And we have our TikTok as well, linked down below our Instagram, which is so juicy. Anyways, have a fantastic day, and we'll see you guys in a little bit. Boom. Peace. Goodbye. Bye.